on. We're rolling. Whoa. All right. All right. Here we are. Live. Live. We're rolling live. Thursday, 730. Okay. Day old donut show. E-Money, con e -money confirms we're live. E-Money. Episode number 11. <laughs> we're, we're on to toast. Ten, in, ten fingers and a toe. Ten fingers and, and a one, toe. And a toe. This is the day old donut show. Wow. That rhymed. Yeah. That ten fingers pretty... and a toe. Day old donut show. Um, Excite Entertainment. Pr media. media. Yeah. yeah. We, we we're, don't just bring it. We're branching out. We're doing more stuff. So, and by more stuff, the chicken wing challenge, chicken wing challenge, the hot wing challenge for anybody that does not know what that is. Let's do that. Let's go into, let's, we'll start in, with that. Just first. in case, God forbid, we have any kind of technical difficulties oh. tonight. Let's do what's coming up. Yeah. Hot wing challenge. First off people. I know most of you are here because I have the Doolin boys. Oh, I yeah. have the Doolin brothers. They, they here. don't care about us. They care about that we got I know, the Doolins. I know. Here. I know. And we're not bringing them on camera. Just not quite yet. yeah. We're just we're gonna hit our stuff. We'll do that, and then uh, and then we're gonna bring in the Doolins, and it's yeah. gonna be fucking awesome. So let's start with uh, that. Was your one F minimum? No, we're twelve. You get twelve. We're twelve F you're minimum. Down, you're not down a to maximum. eleven now. That's a minimum. We could go over. You could break no, that. maximum. It's an 11 F All right. maximum. All right. Chicken wing, chicken wing contest. All right. Here we go. First first and foremost, we got the chicken wing challenge coming yep. up. Starts tomorrow. Tomorrow at Lombardo's, um, 8 o'clock, 8 the, p.m. We will be doing a live show from Lombardo's. Mm -hmm. Four contestants. I actually hear that there's a husband and wife. There uh, is. Little inner competition amongst this other competition. Oh yes, there is, and they're practicing. The, I heard they're they, they do their practicing. How do you? They're how smart. do you practice? You eat damn hot chicken wings, so your mouth gets used to the capsation or capsaicin, whatever Cap the word. Satan? I don't know how how to pronounce it, but I don't either. It's more than you know. But <laughs> and this argument is brought to you by. <laughs> we'll go with Lombardo's, the very first event. Uh, first this argument is brought to you by Lombardo's. Dude, Lombardo's. Uh, yeah, we 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 give a shout outs to our sponsors. Sponsors every time we fight, so that way, you know, yeah. that's half the show. So tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, come meet us down at Lombardo's. Yes, 8 o'clock sharp. Have some beers, have some pizza, have some hot chicken They got wings. a little bar on the side. They'll they have do. pizza. It'll be a good time. You don't have to eat hot wings, but they already got their four contestants. Right. So what the chicken wing challenge is, is we got four pizzerias. We got, we're starting with Lombardo's tomorrow. Then we go to Pizza Boy's. Then we go to Roma's and Herkimer, and then we end it at Primo's. This is happening every single Friday for the next month. For the next for month. For the next five weeks, rather. And then the fifth week, yep. all the winners from each individual pizzeria, yep. they will compete in the finals at our spot, which brings us to our sponsor. To our, one of our sponsors, Beer Belly Bobs. Beer Belly Bobs. Beer Belly Bobs. And if you notice behind us, look. I got one of his shirts up on Stacy. Yeah, Stacy. Stacy's got a new. She had an outfit change. You see, you like that, E Money? E -mo Eric, you see that? Eric, Eric make sure your I mic's like working. Very much. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh well, well we're welcome to the sure, show. We're All making right. sure Eric's mic's on. Okay. He's not used to getting a microphone. Okay. Well, so, anyways, chicken wing challenge. Yep. Four weeks of chicken wing challenge. Yep. Hot wing challenge. Yep. So what it is is it's going to be you got twenty minutes to eat as many hot of the hot of the hot of the hot, and I hear. Lombardo's has quite the sauce. Suicide. Tomorrow. They call them suicide wings. Suicide wings. Yeah. Uh, you I, have to eat one. I don't know. Did you guys get a taste of the sauce while no, you were there? No, no, no. I'm no. not messing with it. I, I mean, mess I'll eat hot it? chicken wings, but not anything they call suicide chicken wings. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, pass I don't, on I don't that play one. With that you either. have to. You made a bet with the people. You said if they gave you 50 shares like two weeks ago, you did. which you, I crushed. you did. We slammed 50 shares. You have to eat. You said one I'll eat one for every ten. Yeah, I do. So there's remember. five chicken wings we'll at least. Recant. We'll see. No, there's not. We'll there's see. not a we'll see. You, you said can't, it. You can't recant on your on your deal. Whatever. You have to do oh. a pies here. Primos here. Primos is here, All which right. brings us to our actual. Our, our he's our final stop. The Primos is the final stop. Yep. The final winner will come out of Primos. Yep. Take that then, five. Take that five. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Right there. Oh, Eric took it from you. Good. That's fine. Yeah, that's for him. So Primo's second. So let's go over this one real quick. Lombardo's first stop tomorrow. Yes. The following week will be at Pizza Boys in Utica. Yes. New York Mills, actually. New York Mills. The, the, the week after that will be at Roma's in Herkimer. Correct. Then we're going over to Primo and Ilian. And then we end And then we're belly. ended at Beer Belly Bob's. Yep. Route 51 Beer Belly Bob's. Beer Belly Bob is actually, to keep it fair so that way oh. nobody can. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Eric. Oh, Eric's. Awesome. There's uh, plates probably over there somewhere if you guys want to get in on this. So, um, uh, 
So that's that. The final, the finals will be there. There's going to be and prizes. Gonna... Well, we're going to announce the prizes as we as we get a little closer. I know Beer Belly Bob had something in store for everybody. So the final is supposed to be this award winning nuclear hot sauce. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if any of these local pizzerias have a sauce that's if not know. hotter, if not you know. But the thing is, is we're going to keep it fair. So this way, we're not going to be like, oh, well, we pulled from another pizzeria. Right. No, no, right. we're going to pull in from Duff's Irish Temper. Yep. And uh, there was a picture of that on our Facebook. You can check it out. Awesome. So th that's going to be cool. Let me just brief through everything else happening this did we, month. Did we cover everything, Jeff? We covered everything on the on the chicken wing challenge. Only... Just come with us tomorrow. Come down. 8 o'clock, come down to You're Lombardo's. Welcome. If you have any questions, we'll fill you in there. We will be there in person. Yep, Jeff you will be shaking look hands, at Joe's signing face. autographs. If you haven't noticed Joe's face, he's... Something oh. happened to it. Well, I'll get a little closer in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll show you guys got, that after. I got quite it's, the shave, brother. It's crazy. But let's move forward real quick. All right, what um, else we got? We have um, the 8th, which is next Thursday. Um, we have King Mike and Mike Falvo from Dynasty Wrestling, which is going to be awesome, which we'll, we'll elaborate more on the Dynasty Wrestling event um, in a couple minutes. We'll talk about that. We want to hurry up. We want to get the, the dueling boys on the, on here. Me too. Me too. On the 15th, we have Justin Smithson coming in here, Ooh. who everybody around here loves Justin Smithson. Everybody We're excited to have him, and I want to get him to perform just a little bit for us because oh. I love li live entertainment. So Justin Smithson. Um, the following week is open, and then um, – which we think we're uh, going to be bringing in. Uh, I don't know if it's open. I know, me neither. Because uh, we can't. We're really keeping just, something put away for a special surprise that we hope that we right end up there. scoring. Um, so hopefully we have that done. That could be a good interview. On the 24th, join us in Amsterdam at the Elks for Dynasty Pro Wrestling. It is going to be amazingly good time. We're going to have so much fun. Chris Envy, uh, hat one half of the owners. He, King Mike, who's King, the other half, will be King here next. Mike, well, will, will be, be here next week. That's correct. We will go over everything Dynasty Pro Wrestling next week. The you will know it all. Trust me, it's we'll going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. So that's what we have going on immediately. Um, so let me just move forward real quick. I want to hit our sponsors just so we don't have any kind of technical difficulty because they're all doing some stuff, but I'm going to hit you guys now. Our internet connection, just by the way, has, I don't want to jinx ourselves and I'm going to knock right here. Right. Uh, yeah, we, we got, we, I think we're back. All right. Again. So if, if we're having any problems, please let us know. Okay. Eric, Eric is watching and listening and being able to read. So I don't have to play on my phone no more. No, yeah, and I gave you these notes earlier, but I don't trust that you'll read them correctly, so I'm just going to take the liberty in my own hands right. and go ahead and do this myself. Then I'll just eat pizza while you do it. The, the CE Construction might... No, please don't eat pizza while I do it. Just I'm, sit tight until I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to move the microphone. This argument is brought to you by our first our first sponsor, CE Construction. <laughs> Give him Chester, the telephone number. Chester Farrington. His phone number is 315 985 one two nine one. He'll give you free co free quotes. He's a general contractor. He does roofing. He's the man. He's a personal friend of mine. He's clean. He's courteous. He gets the job done, and he gives you a very good price. So if you need anything done, you call my buddy Chester Farrington at CE Construction. Once again, three one five nine eight five twelve ninety one. Up next is. Route 51 Beer Belly Bobs, who keeps my belly full with delicious suds. Thank you, Bob. Awesome. If you notice, your shirt is right behind us. And uh, we were over there today, so we, we got hit up with the specials that's going on. Bob has, uh, and, and if you haven't been there for any of his samplings, go check it out. Because they have a bar in the back, and they do samplings and they have they bring in different uh beer companies distributors that's usually brewers. what you do sample right at a and, sampling. You, and you sample the beers so on uh is that all that you do shut the Kill you. Don't, I, I don't almost used. It. I almost used you one. You almost wasted. I almost it. used and, one. And you only get. You only got eleven left. On the ninth, which is next Friday, we have Carlsberg and Krabby's from five to seven. The following week, on the sixteenth, we have Switchback Ale from four to six. There's specials going on this week. They have Sam Adams Light in bottles, twelve pack for eight ninety nine. They also have Boston Lager that only comes in the twelve pack cans. But that's seven ninety nine. All the other twelve packs are like eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Bud Light, Coors Light. They're, they're, they have great deals. What about UC? Eight forty nine. I, I stand corrected. They have UC. They have UC. They have Growlers. They fill Growlers for twenty three cents an ounce. Yeah, it's written here. 
If this is a mistake they have to honor, that's a good freaking deal. 23 cents an ounce? That's insane. That's insanely good deal. Route 51 Beer Belly Bobs. Yeah, why not? Right what? in Illinois. It's on on Seago Street. I need the mic back. It's yeah. 70 on Seago Street. I get excited I about things. It's awesome. Yes, it is. Coming up next is the clip joint. Oh, Leah Pendergrass. Tell us about Leah Pendergrass. Oh, clip dude, joint. she uh, she's going to be coming on our show, actually. And uh, she does, she cuts hair, yep. updos, proms, you name it. She yep. does all your special events, weddings, uh, travels, goes wherever. It's it's Leah, man, and she's going to come in. Yep. She can wax a back, boy, I'll tell you. Wicked. And, and yeah, I got a back for her to wax. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so you do. So I'm going to see if Leah, Leah said she's up for the challenge. So we're going we're gonna to see Shit. what, what happens. Weed whacker. Listen, I don't care what. Chainsaw. What, you know, whatever you got to, you know. Whatever you got to do. Uh, bro, you know those sticks that they use to pick up garbage? Bring one of them to poke all the pimples on your back. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's really nice back. You guys will it's, see it in a couple of weeks. Minus the hair wings. You, you guys will see it in a couple few weeks. I call weeks. them my islands. They're awesome. Because my whole They're back's beautiful. not like covered in hair, but... They're yeah, hair whatever. wings. All right, let's move forward. Yeah, we don't need to talk Deep about Vapors, that. Deep Vapors, 308 oh. Mohawk Street. I know the uh, owner. He's wicked cool. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. He, he can be so mean sometimes. Uh, 315-360-7523 is our phone number. We do uh, 335 milliliter bottles of bee juice. We're running a special. 335 milliliters. For $22.50 plus tax, of course. We do CBD oil, 35 milliliter bottles for $15 a piece. I've been, I've been doing two of them for $25. I'll honor that. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. So that's that's me. Come in. I'll hook you up. If you have questions, just come in and talk to me. Um, moving forward, the Minuteman Gazette, if you need to get a message across. He, he messaged me today. I got to call him back. He's the man. I want him on the show. He's awesome. Yeah, Eldrin is, is, is the owner. He's so cool. His prices are so fair. He does giant, awesome, huge ads for you. Oh, yeah. If you got to get and a message across, if I was to do a garage sale, I would put it in Minuteman Gazette. Oh, yeah. it's, you know what I mean? I would. It's just the way to do it. If it I was going to sell something, you know what I mean? It's mailed to everybody's house. They're gorgeous. They yeah. are gorgeous. Yeah, the Minute Man Gazette. It's got a little nice. It's got useful information in there too. Call them up if you need to get your. Fun if you're articles. a business, if you're a business, you want to get your message across. I I advertise in it every single week. I love it. He's awesome. Well, that's why He's people like. That's why people like stuff like us. We're we're inexpensive. Oh yeah. Forms of weight. Oh yeah. If you guys your, want to advertise with us, call us off. Let us know. Message we, PM Speaking us, of whatever. which, we just have one of our. This is our, our newest, newest sponsor. Our newest sponsor to the list. Tina Bennett Esquire. Yes. She is an attorney and this is she She's is probably awesome. watching she gave me a long bunch of footnotes but you know what i don't want to go over <laughs> i don't want to go over every single bullet point because i want to use this advantage to try to get her on the show she's coming she i said love she'll smart do it. women smart women are, are i'm intrigued by these wonderfully intelligent women and she is one of them and i'm dying to have her on the show but i'm gonna give my, you guys my the reason i like her is if you look on the bottom of the notes it says she's crazy oh yeah she's I'm, awesome i'm nuts and and if this could be this could be good let me tell you a little bit about her she is a father's rights attorney yep Equal, 90, equal rights, 50-50. 99% of her clients are men. Yep. So she fights for the men's. No other attorney actually participates in parades or protests for father's rights, and that is a cool If you cool hit her thing. up on Facebook, she's actually got a video Family there. Family court is a woman's world. It really is. It's a woman's world, and for somebody standing up for men, it's a really yep. cool thing. Tina, I can't wait. We Please come you. on the show. Um, she lives in Phoenix, New York. Oh. She's married to Richard Foley, <laughs> and she has three dogs, Chewy, Snazzle, and Butch. So <laughs> she's awesome. I was really hoping you were going to bring up the dog's name. Uh, she's Snazzle. awesome. She's awesome. We got to get her in here. Yeah, if you're having any kind will. of any kind of problem, uh, you know, in family court or anything like that, th trust give me. Give her a call. Give her a call. Do her up give on her Facebook. A call. She's got a Facebook. Remington Federal Credit Union. Yep. Tell them about Remington Federal Credit Union. You need a loan. You need you need a car loan. They you need a business it. loan. You need a personal loan. Car rates good. Mortgages. Interest rates the good. Low, Mortgage low. rates. Yeah. You need it. They're wicked nice down there. Oh, they're really every, sweet. Every, they're all super nice, and they all want to help you. And they're local. And they're local. That's a nice thing. One branch. One branch. Right Alien. in Illion. Yep. Right by the post office. You got it. That's it. Go see them if you need anything. Johnson's Carpet Center. Jim Adams. Everybody Jim down there. there. You guys rock. Now, let me tell you. I got. I have some notes on this, too. Flooring. Yeah, read your notes. All right. All right. Listen to this. 
Hard, solid hardwood flooring starting I'm li- I'm at three dollars and sixty nine cents a square foot. You ain't say it so. I am saying it say so. Say it so. They're the largest stocking dealer in the Mohawk Valley. You gotta be pulling my leg. No, no, of course they are. Who else is bigger than them? I can't there? think of anybody. They got a huge. Who would you go to? Ever? Yeah. Well, who it's, did, it's not who would I go to. I already did. Right. Oh. They have been in business for almost sixty eight years. So that is true. They're one of the longest run businesses in Herkimer. They're amazing. Go see Jimmer if you need flooring, tile, anything like that. Tell Jeff flooring, and Joe sent you. Definitely tell him you came, you came from us. And Jimmer's he works with people too. He's, they're awesome. And he's a man Go, tipper. Yes, he is. He's a man tipper. Go see so, Jimmer. See Jimmer. Okay, Primo's Pizzeria. Uh, I mean, what else is there to say other than awesome? Oh, there is a lot to say. A what large pizza, got? twenty wings for twenty-seven fifty. <laughs> That's something to say. A large pizza and forty wings for thirty-seven dollars. Small pizza, twenty wings for twenty-four bucks. That's a lot to say, man. That is a lot to say. You know what I mean? They That's bring us a pizza every plus, week. I enjoy it. And I look forward to. They're this open day. late night. They're they're. You can I don't know. I don't know if they're doing the late night thing. Sometimes anymore. they are, but they're open till eleven. Eleven well, is oh, late. Yeah, late. Yeah. You know, o'clock. a lot of places close at nine, ten o'clock. Eleven, but eleven out is good. Do- yeah, out the door by ten fifteen. So you gotta go see Santino. Go see all the. Go see Sunny. Go see the Cacciatore family. They're all good. Um, I want to make a couple shout outs. I want to tell you a little event that I'm curious about. Then, then I'm dying to get my, my boy in here. So, yeah, Davey's getting ready. So He's I'm not- shouting out right now. Um, I can't read your Facebook things right now because I've been doing this, but um, my homeboys at Team Larry Entertainment, what's up, guys? What's happening? I love every single one of you. I've had a number of you on my show now, and I'll have a number of you back anytime. You guys are awesome. Team Larry is one of the greatest promoters around oh, here. Larry Katroop, Larry, Larry I love him. I love Sam. I, awesome. I, I, we had Electrocute. We have a ton of Team Larry people, and I love every single one of you guys. What's up? Hey, who um, wants to hear Jeff shut up so we can bring Davey One in? more thing. Uh, one more thing. We have to thank... You know, another podcaster. We were on. Oh yeah, we do have to thank Z we were, before we go. We do. Last. My my pal Z uh, over at the Disruption Network. I think it's four days a week. I think only the day he takes off and during the week is Friday. But Monday through Thursday, he's on from three to five thirty. He shoots a podcast. Yep. Um. So go on Facebook. You guys. We were, are, ju- we were just on. It. Yeah. Monday. We were on a Monday. We on I had Monday. a blast. I had a great time. The link he, is on my. The link is on my Facebook. I'm sure Jeff has the link. I have. On his. I have the links for. Yeah. Go on my Facebook. You want to check out his stuff because I share his stuff every day because he's awesome. We love Z. Yeah. Z is the man. He's got a great thing going on over there. They. Did have you see, fun. Did you see Monkey Boy today? Oh, yeah. Dude, I saw Mon- Monkey that. Man. Yeah, it's a band out of Syracuse. Dude, he gets in great guests. He has a lot of fun. He got me drunk the other night. <laughs> and it- you drove... You dr- I didn't we'll, drive we'll, shit. We'll, so we'll, don't 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 talk. Don't try to incriminate me. We'll we'll talk about the S10 I and the snowbank incident. Yeah, what, who and, drove it? Eric, wasn't me. Eric, Eric wasn't drinking. Eric, I know. And, and I didn't drive it. We could but, talk about but you that. You get drunk but, and things happen. But speaking of this, we're, we'll give a shout out to Spizak for fixing. Oh, he did for, in a speedy one. Yeah, Spizak. Yes, um, thank you for that. He's right over at uh, 506 Albany Street in Herkimer. He hooked me up, too. His phone number is 315-866-4414. I'm going to give Spizak the plug because he hooked up Eric after yeah, Joe dude. and I talked him into breaking no, his truck. You got a mouse in your pocket? Because uh, we. Was we. You were in on it, too. Right, you were anyways, filming it. Anyways, are, you, are you done now? No, last thing I want to go over. Um, my buddy Todd Lozo, who's going to be back oh, on next right, week. Right. This is a big thing for Todd we, we Lozo. We love Todd Lozo. We do. We, we, yeah, we do. Um, You're excused. Todd, Todd Lozo from the Lonesome Dog. Will be at the Moose and Alien tomorrow from nine to one. The reason this is a big deal is this is his last show with his drummer Chris Giuliano. Um, what? Yeah, Chris is moving to California on Tuesday. We wish him well, but yep. they're going to have I'm guest sad. performers. Guest performers mm. and uh, the cover charge is five bucks. So you want to go have a good time and listen to some awesome people? Then dude, go see them. Always, dude, I'm going to set this time. down for now. I'm going to go back to my sponsors again. We'll go over stuff when we fight. We'll bring it to you by our sponsors, but. Davey Doolin, please get your ass out here. Come you on. are the man. Everybody loves hey. you. Come hop on out down, here. Pop, here, hop in there. Grab the microphone. The Throw microphone's set of on headphones you. on. Grab and your, grab your those headphones are yours. Joe, you can have these notes now because those are our sponsors. Go in order of when our highlights go. Fair enough. Sorry. Yeah, we. Yeah. Eric, if anybody pops on there and asks us questions or anything that you think is of relevance, you can just hit us up. up. Oh, look, plates. <laughs> hit us up, plates. Hey, I'm you just giving him a grab full shot. Grab some. You want some, Mike? Grab some for Mike. Check Eric, one, Eric, two, Eric one, can you grab that? Give some to Mike. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave.
What's up, man? Fuck Joe, right? I'm going to waste a fuck on him. <laughs> fuck Joe. It's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. You're man. now down to 10 F-bombs. How many yeah. did you do? Zero. Yeah, right. I have not one. Not one yet? Yeah. Holy cow. It's so good to see you. You had an awesome fight. Good to be back. I know. I know. You enjoy this. I love it. He you does. Do. He loves it. You do. Where is he on camera? Can we tell? Make sure that he's on point. Can we? Are we, are yeah. we definitely? Yeah, is he he's good? good. He's good. Yep. All right. You can see him perfectly. Just make sure. Yeah, I got Hasselhoff back there too. I do. Right, I do. Cool. We 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 like to switch it up a little bit. I just don't like to hassle the Hoff. So sorry, <laughs> Davey Doolin. <laughs> fresh off of Cage Wars thirty five, you fought at one forty five. One thirty five. One thirty five. You're big to be at one thirty five. How'd you get down there? Oh, uh, lots of egg whites and lots, of, <laughs> I was lots left, of brown rice. I was looking at your, your your dinner plates that you were posting on Facebook before. I'm like, shit, I don't miss that. I was That's slightly terrible. jealous of your after weigh-in dinner, though. I the crab <laughs> the crab legs, the everything, everything that you can imagine in oh, yeah. one in one area. So it was a title fight. Yep. Tell us what happened. Tell the world what happened. Tell, yeah, explain. Let, the, let's the hear it. Let's hear it. I've seen the fight. Uh, I've seen the fight, and I could give you my feedback on it, but I want to hear what you have to say, and, and then we'll we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, it was a close fight. It was just kind of a boring fight, really. Uh, a lot of a lot of groundwork, not really no real significant strikes, but I thought I did enough to win it. You know? I don't think he wanted to stand with you was the biggest thing. Yeah, he definitely. I watched the fight. The kid had some good, he had great grappling. It was really good, which when I was watching the fight made me so much more impressed with your fight, your skill set, because he threw up some arm bars. He threw up a triangle that you popped out of, which I was, I was shocked. And the second round when he threw that triangle in, I was like, oh shit. That's my first thought. I was like, damn it. Son of a bitch. And when you popped out, I was like, how? How'd you, how'd you, how did you get your head out of that? I thought you were literally going to take that guy and just lift him up and just start slamming well, him on the ground. Like he that. tried. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, I saw that. I you, thought you, that's what you were going to do. You, you actually got him up about uh, two feet in the air and set him down because he hooked your ankle. But um, how'd you get out of the triangle? Uh, I I defend him all day in practice, man. It's just it was it was really good, dude. They were, he, they were he, deep. Uh, his arm bars looked like they were kind of de- he pulled out of there too. I was so surprised. You had dominant position the entire fight, so that's why this is controversial. Because you were on top of him the entire fight. My whole my, my whole take on the whole situation is you can't leave it with the judges. I want to see you kill this fucking yeah. kid next time. I, um, like I told my coach before the fight, I said, like, if it's a choke, I'm just going to let him put, pass me out if he gets me in something. Yeah. But uh, if he catches me in an arm bar or something like that, I was like, I'm just going to tap. So you have fight another to. Day. But you have to. When why, I was in there, I just it? remember I was like, he's going to have to snap this arm. I'm not tapping. He, he, I was, I, he, the kid threw up. If, if people that didn't watch the fight. And the, the actual professional footage isn't out yet, which we're, I, I we're want. Waiting I, we're waiting on, and I'm sure it will be. We but won't see it. The uh, if, if there's Corey Cool put out some good footage. Shout, shout out to Corey shout Cool. Shout out to Corey Cool, my their brother. Their brother Corey Cool. He's a good friend he of got, mine. Joe called him up and said, "Film the jumbo, con- the jumbo the tron. tron," because everyone's trying to film through the cage. And Joe's like, "Film the jumbo tron." So Corey got some good footage that we saw. It's. It was a good fight, and I hate good fights. I like one-sided bashing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Same here. Is it going to be that way next time? What's uh, it? Unfortunately, I'm not going to get an immediate rematch. I heard, and I heard he's ducking you. Yeah, I, I would be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't think at this level they really do too many rematches, you know. So I probably won't get that. I I can't announce who he's fighting next, but I, know I, I heard a rumor. Fighting. I heard a rumor too, and I'm not going to announce it either. Um, we'll wait. So, but I know he's dead meat. <laughs> I that I agree, I agree. I wouldn't want to fight the guy that he's supposed to fight too. And and this guy, he, this guy that he's supposed to be fighting actually fights a lot lighter than that typically too. Yeah, which is crazy because the kid's a killer. Um, I I'm pissed off that I can't put you back in there. I wish I, I wish I I wanted to be like, hey, I got a surprise for you. He's coming in right now. Would you beat him up? <laughs> yeah. if I, you want to go one more round? If I, if I foresee like the future, I I just see. Him losing his next fight, and then that kid going pro. Yeah. And then it's right back down to the boss. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what do you, what do you what do you plan on doing next? Um. How soon do you, you how soon do you want to fight? I'm, 
I'll fight tomorrow. Yeah, you're not damaged. You <laughs> yeah. look like you have not a single drop yeah, of damage on you. This was a week ago. Yeah. Last, so, last Saturday. Right. So you don't look like you took any. You didn't. I watched the fight. You took no damage. Yeah. There no. was absolutely nothing the kid did to you physically that, I mean, he threw up submissions. He won yeah. the judges' scorecard by doing that this stuff. You know what I mean? He wouldn't stand with you. If you could do it again, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, Jeff, go, ahead. But go ahead. If you could do it again, would you just keep letting him up, letting him up? Keep um, going. See, I, 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 I did kind of let him up. It's just he, yeah, I he, saw was the very, one he was good at trapping me in his guard. So, like, I was trying to get up, but he had, he had his ankles like – and I'm, you know, I'm still kind of young. I've only been doing this for a year. Right. Oh yeah, you're still fresh, and I, man. I, I made the mistake of not controlling his wrist a lot more. I was. I should have been. Do you know I where he been trains out of? Far. Like I, I, I've been learning so fast, and just in 24 hours, I've already. I, learned. I was impressed it's with your grappling. But do you know where he trains out of? Because to me, it's more like a tenth plan at jujitsu because he was throwing a high guard up on you, on your shoulders the whole time, and he did the position, the mission control position, like a lot. And I was like, man, this guy's got some fucking Eddie Bravo jujitsu. Hey, I'm just hey, curious. Hey, nine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> We're talking fighting, dude. This is a man's sport. We were allowed to talk about this. People don't forget. But you don't know what gym he trains out of? Uh, he. I know he tra uh, trains with this guy named Brian Bury, which I've heard good things about, so. Yeah, it was almost rubber guard what he was doing, which is, you know, I was impressed with your skills. I still set. feel I won the fight. I mean, the, it's a judge, you know, it's just an opinion, really. It, it a decision really, it is. is an opinion. It is. So Hang on, let's, the let's fight clarify will be out and this. everyone can see it. For somebody like myself, I I have very minimal knowledge on how scorecards work. Right. Like, Jeff, Jeff clearly knows how, you know, how do they actually score? You, uh, I, 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 a fight like a, a, your fight, how are points scored? Like how? Help everybody understand how how it is, what the point system is, because I still don't even really understand it. Yeah, they got you know significant strikes, octagon control, uh, ground control, submission attempts do score. So every time take that down dude, score though too. Yeah, take down score. Take down score too. So and when he went in for that double leg, he he, he came he right only in had for one it. takedown. Yeah, was, he had yeah, one takedown. He had one, one. takedown. That was I think it. I had three or four. Yes, yes. And he actually, well, he the one takedown that he took you down, you swept him and took position. Yeah. So a sweep is when, you, it's exactly what it sounds like, you, you get from bottom to top, you sweep him it's in. It's just the first fight, I I don't know, I can't think of another fight ever where someone was on their back for eight of the nine minutes and, and have won. Oh, I've Especially seen it, with no significant That's strikes. the thing, because I've seen it happen where they did threw elbows from the bottom and won because it just caused damage. Because damage is something that you would rate on points as well. Yeah. If you, if, and if, what exactly is, I mean... And I he was more damaged than I was. He, was, he, had the, he had the cut on his forehead and things like that. Yeah. He just, like I said, he pulled a high guard the whole time and he pretty much... He threw a couple, as far as I, I could see how it got scored that way, but as far as I would have deducted points for the kind of the, the laying down and holding that high guard the whole time, too. He was kind of working, but he didn't want to have anything to do with the stand-up. It's a, it's a very controversial fight because you very well may have won that fight. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think he wanted a jiu-jitsu match. I think he I did, too. <laughs> I think that, that that's exactly how I think I a lot of people saw it, you could have boxed too. his face right in. It was like, a, I'm sitting there going, Davey's going to wreck this kid right in the face. And then every time yeah, he kept pulling you down, I'm like, what in the... I, well, I, I almost kind of like, lost in the moment, too. I just, I, I kind of fought right into his game plan. I, it wasn't the plan. What was your corner telling you? What was yeah? What oh, was, he, what was my the coach? I, if I was my coach, I'd be living with me. He was he yelling saying, "Stand up!" the whole fucking he's night? He's like, "Stand up!" And then in the third round, but I, I felt so comfortable there because you know I'm used to defending that in practice. So I was just standing there. I'm right. like, I'm gonna ride this out. You weren't taking any damage. Yeah, you had a dominant yeah. position for three like, rounds. I'm, I might as well ride this out. I'm right. Not, it's already here. And another thing is I wasn't really aggressive because I thought it was a five-round fight. Right. That's it, something that should have been clarified. That's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I, he it's thought a, it. He thought as well as it was a five round fight. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the third, he was like gassed out, and I'm like, "Oh, I got this fucker right where I right. want him. He's about oh, to get yeah. beaten." Oh yeah, I was because right before was you over. came here, I watched it again. At round two, the kid was like, <sighs> "I mean, he was he was beat up in the corner. He was very he was he was gassed. He had no, yeah. nothing." I, like I said, I hung out with him after the fight, and he was a cool cool dude, but. Uh, he, that's when I learned that he was 39. Yeah. What? I'm like, maybe that had he something really to do with his cardio. 39. He was gassing out. He looked good, like, though. Yeah, Dude, yeah. He, he did look, he look he good. Oh, yeah, good. he's the hottest 39-year-old I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> How long has that dude been training? Long Holy time? Holy jeez. Uh, he said 1988. So I was born in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. 
I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I'm like, you know, did I well, did I lose to this old fucker? Yeah, know, but that's, that's the thing, though. That's but a the lot experience. of experience, man. That's 39 years. Like, that's crazy. And he's been doing it his whole. He's never stopped. Right. You're, yeah. No. He said he had like he has a four year break of in between him and him fighting. Right. But he but doesn't stop training. To me that he has been doing jujitsu competitions and all that. So your corner was telling you to get up the fucking whole time. Stand, stand up. up. Duff was yeah, telling you to stand that up. That was the plan. Yeah. Fuck. But he has me. <laughs> if you could go you back understand, in time, like when you're in somebody's guard, I he know. had me trapped. It. Well, I know. You know I you don't know. It. He had mission control. He had his. He had. A, he was high up on your shoulders. Yeah. I don't know what mission control is. Well, when you basically. If you have uh, your legs like this, and then you take, and Davy's, break the Davy's arm would be, if you have your legs up on Davy's shoulders, and Davy's arm is right through here because he's in my guard, and I take this arm and hold it this way and hold his back, now his arm is stuck right here in this little crevice. That's called mission control. And then you'll slip it over into Uma Platas and whatnot and Uma, so on. Did you just say Uma Platas? Uma Platas. Just, I'll you. put you in Uma Plata if you want. God bless you. I will put you in Uma Plata. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It, he was hanging on tight. That's why I said, I was like, dude, he looks like an Eddie Bravo student because he had that high, almost rubber guard. Yep. Um, and it's hard to get stand up when somebody's got their fucking feet high on your back. That's got to be 15, right? Seven. That's it? You got seven left. That's, oh, I got seven left? Yep. Really Perfect. looking at it, uh, it's like, I, I think every fighter probably does this looking back, like beating herself up, but I'm like, Shit, I did realize that Dude, my, my arms were on the mat and instead of on a him, right. like on him, which is a no-no. But the, another scary thing, because it's a fucked up situation, Six. Um, <laughs> because if you were to post up on his belly with your arms and had your elbows up, now, now you're at risk of getting armbarred, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's tough. It's, yeah. If you were on the ground with him, I mean, elbows really the only thing you probably could have done different. But... Also, he. How do you? You got to post up to do that too. Yeah, uh, it's, I don't know. I it's, just. I. I shouldn't have been fighting there, but like I said, uh, still just feel I won round one and round two. I would have even gave him round three, but I agree. I agree. I think I have to. Yeah, but I think his. I. I the judge that fucking scored at thirty twenty seven. That <laughs> asshole. <laughs> how well, did he win you know round what? one? I don't know, but his takedown was in round two. Yeah, round two. Round two was round his two. takedown. Um. So I, if you scored it differently, you know, um, and gave him two rounds, maybe only because of that takedown, but he got swept on the takedown too. So he wanted a grappling match. The kid. Well, actually, I didn't. I, I didn't sweep him. I thought I got up and then took him back down. It looked more like a sweep from the. Like I said, I didn't I have, have great. I didn't have great footage, but it looked like a sweep because you didn't stand completely back up. I'm pretty sure. It was, I thought I did. No. It, it, I, maybe I thought, a scramble. It, again. it may have been a scramble, but it to me it looked we'll like wait. it was a sweep. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure the footage will come out and then because. I want you to fight him again. Yeah. I want I to fight him again. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing personal against him. It's just I feel gypped a little Can bit. I, so. Well, what about this? If there's a, it, I mean, there's obviously other organizations that, that, that hold these kind of, you know, events. Can you fight him in another, like in another? No, event? he's booked up. He's booked up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this, 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 this kid, this kid spoken for is right. basically yeah, what pretty much. Saying. Yeah, yeah, because he has currently has that he's title. Got the, he's got the title. And All I know other... is my time is running out with him probably being thirty nine. Who yeah. knows how much longer he will yeah, fight? Yeah, true. This is true. This so, is true. He's a stepping stone. This yeah. is your only your first loss. Yeah. This kid is a stepping stone. Fuck yeah, yeah. Listen, you're, 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 you know what I mean? You're a young it's man. It's going to change your mentality. I think I've time. already learned so much, I feel like, and it's, I, it's crazy. you got to get in these, these fights and these situations in order to learn. I agree. So, I agree. That's how I learn. I have to do things. That's, I, you know, that's how like, I learn. I'm, like, pissed off about it, but then I'm, like, you know, like, if I would have just won, I probably wouldn't have seen the other – if they would have given me the decision, I probably would have been like, yeah, I'm the champ and I won. If you could now go, I get to look back and say, okay, well, here's what I should have done. Ex and what should you have done? What would you, I, Tell us now exactly what, what you would have done. Would've, I, would've, I mean, other than stand with him, even I would still go right back in his guard gladly if I had to. I would just risk control him, posture up, and, and pin an arm and then drill him. Mm -hmm. And then just really just... Just constantly can keep going back. Work more. Do what you like do. Like I said, Punch I wasn't. In the face. I like at the end of the fight, dude. I could have fought ten more rounds. I wasn't even. I know. I wasn't like gas. You weren't gas out. My nothing. arms were heavy or anything. My was, whole life, I've hated decisions. I'm I, like, what is a decision? Yeah. If it doesn't end, just keep fighting. 
To you me, know? yeah, that, that's the way I feel. Like, I was, like, ready to fucking I'm you like, know? snap There's this arm, so whatever you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. So many wanna... rules and regulations. It's like, if we're going to keep fighting, just keep fighting until you have a winner. You know, or else, you know, because I'm always like, then it's a tie. Yeah. If nobody finishes, then it's a tie. Yeah. But the problem is you'd have people that have records like 4, 2, and 26. Yeah, <laughs> you know see, the I mean? thing is, is like, I'm, I'm fucking, it fires me up a little bit, like, because, you know, I don't want to ever lose like that ever again. I don't think you like, will. Like, fucking knock me out or I don't something. Think you, Lay me well, out. Yeah, just break the arms. Yeah, go for choke broke me next out, time. Right. Yeah, like, I'll, ne I'll never lose like that again. Like, I'm either going to get my ass beat or I'm beating some ass. Right. You're going to get something. Something's happening. I think, you're gonna beat, I think you're going to beat some ass next time. Yeah, right? that was the fucking I'm worst. excited to see what comes out of the future for you. Um, Pumped. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm pumped for we're, you. we're waiting to see when you're next, and you got quite the fan base. You definitely have quite not, the fan. I'm base. not gonna lie, we we are hitting we're hitting pretty good numbers right yeah. now. Don't, <laughs> shut, don't shut her don't down. Shut her down oh, Joe. boy, don't shut her down. Shut her down. No. Everybody, you know what I like? I like your great big huge chest tattoo. I hear they hurt like a motherfucker, don't they? Holy fuck! Don't ever get one of That's those. That's what they say. They say the Corey, chest is wait, the worst thing. The stomach. I'm sorry. The stomach is oh worse than the god. center of the chest. Oh my god! So much worse. Rip your guts right now. Surely stop. It's more of a. It's more of a burn. No way. Right there. This is us live. All right, get out of the way. That's us. Why did we stop? Too many. Fuck that. Yeah. Couldn't load all our people. Can yeah. While we waiting. How long ago? My God, can I fuck say fuck Spectrum on yeah, the air? We're back up. We're back I up can. Definitely can. Thank you. you. I just want to. Hang on. Go ahead. Lady, I'm 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 yeah. rolling right. Yeah, you're. Okay. You're, you're, I, I just want to thank I want to thank my cable provider Spectrum Business Class. Thank you Spectrum Business Class. You guys have been wonderful with our service ever since we got you two weeks ago. We've had nothing you but good suck things. Ass. Oh no! I think you guys are incredible from sending two different ins installation people to everything else. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm gonna send you guys this link to this thing. Thanks. <laughs> you. you guys are incredible. Anybody looking for internet that shuts off halfway through anything? Call Spectrum. All right. They're going to tell you to reboot the router. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Jesus. Holy. Not, our, not on our end. Are we rolling at least? I'm still loading. You're still loading. Yeah, wait for people to. That just fucked up the whole deal. And that is exactly why I hit our sponsors first, mother bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's because we're on a different feed now. That's why. Because I was still trying to roll that last feed, so you just got to go on this. Here we go. I'm live. Hi, guys. Joe, you're live. Just pick a different feed. Your last feed didn't work, so reshare it. So, if you guys, I don't know if you guys caught my Spectrum rant, but I just want to say how wonderful they are for providing this internet service that lasts, however, what time is it? It's five after eight. It lasts about 30 minutes. You get 30 minutes with Spectrum if you run live, and then they'll, uh, and then they're and they going to shut you off for uh, whatever. Yeah, All right. Davey Doolin, how you feeling, bro? All right, we're back. We're back. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Man. Holy we're Jesus. We that. All right. Let me just share this quick. Please share this it again. Video. Joe, pick up this piece of paper, please. Right there. I need this. That, no, I need it. Thank you. Please sit down. You're, you're part of this show. That last rant was brought to you by CE Construction. Go see my buddy Chester Farrington at CE Construction. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what's what, 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 all right? Aside from fighting, what's up, man? Hanging out, man. Getting ready. I'm just been a little pissed and. Well, you know back. what? Let's let's talk about something that I'm not supposed to talk about because I was going to be on my best behavior about this because I knew nothing about it, and it's a touchy subject around here. And Joe's like, eh. oh, "Here we go! I can't wait for this." You one. know what it is. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. Yeah. What's going on yeah, with it? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Everybody, everybody, yeah, the girl. All right, <laughs> the girl. Joe's away, but we're gonna. I'm gonna start this off while he's gone. There is. I'm gonna paint the picture. Five foot three. 200 pounds really squishy you think 200 oh at least you think more oh no i was gonna give her under not under? not close on i was like 180 oh, you're, you're a nice guy 10. there's this girl 10. that yesterday brutal 
She's in my brother's in, uh, weight class. Yeah. <laughs> in, the ve- in the village of uh, Herkimer, New York, we had a woman. Yeah, Joe's coming back on this Joe's ru- we had a woman running down the street, butt ass naked, butt ass naked. So, people, you had people on both sides. You had people that are like defending her, saying, "Oh, well, something bad happens. Something bad happens." Well, allegedly, I'm just gonna say allegedly what happened. This is what I heard. It's allegedly. Don't hold me to it because I don't know if it happened this way. I don't know. It's all hearsay. Do, it's all hearsay. I don't know. Like but what I heard style. was. This girl is on Backpage, and if you're not familiar with what the Backpage is, it's like uh, Craigslist for your ass. They, they, huh? you, you sell it's a it's you're a hooker. Oh, okay. The Backpage. Okay. So she's on the Backpage, and she sells her ass. Well, apparently, what happened was what I heard yesterday, and now because I have conflicted stories, and we'll get into that in a second. I heard that she was caught in bed with another man's woman and the woman freaked out and it was beating her up and like chased her out of the house naked so but here's the thing if you i'm if you don't know me uh herkimer there's a main street which runs north south and then there's a state street which runs east west now the police station is on main street or right off main street right this woman ran past the police station all the way up to the main highway it took, banked her right onto the highway, started heading west in front of, like, the most populated roads in the village, right? <laughs> if you're in trouble, don't you run to the police station? If somebody, like, because she said she was getting beat up and they took her clothes. I love that she she didn't decide to cut through Burger King. She ran the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Ran oh, yeah. Straight well, why didn't you cut, run through, like, the <laughs> she line? She didn't want to jaywalk. Like, she like, she kept, like, on the sidewalk. Yeah. Path, run, down, like run down the side. Yeah. <laughs> she no jaywalking. No, no. Gonna... She wasn't. She's not breaking more than one law at a time. You know? I, I just. I... So tell me what you heard today. She did it again. Yeah, she did it again. I seen the picture. So not, yeah. So she <laughs> did it again. <laughs> she did it again. So As at this Britney point. Spears says, oops, I did it again. Well, at, at this point, it's free for the taking. Oh, uh, yeah. At be- this point, I was going to be good about it. I wasn't going to bring this up. But Whoa. because she did it again, it's free game now. Hang on. It's fair game. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right. What happens if you fool you a third time? Well, then I never get. Then I'm just. I do it every single week, Eric. I fooled <laughs> if I fooled him for eleven weeks in a row. I just want to cross the line and say that bitch was on drugs. <laughs> Go ahead, cross the line. I don't. You know. I mean, if you're doing the shit two times in a, in two days. You just got caught. I heard the popo. Actually, I'm. I gotta find out confirmation. I don't know if any of our our viewers are watching can confirm that. I, but I, I heard asked. The, did that you did ask Eric? Oh, I asked. Is our it viewer, confirmed? No, I asked our viewers. Can the Herkimer police confirm know. this? Does anybody us? confirm can, it? Can, can anybody confirm that this is happening? Because we're short yeah. of media, and we would like to get the, the skinny on this. Here's the deal. I got I got a little ridiculed for for saying that we're gonna we want to bring her on. Right. I don't want to make fun of her. Well, so I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to mock we, her. We we were actually one of the most responsible ones, and we edited her naked ass running down because there's a video. There's a yeah. video and there's and pictures. We, and we debated on if we wanted to do we, it. And we we decided not. We decided well, not we, to do what it. What happened was we edited it and blurred it out. We were responsible about but it. But then we stopped. Because we wanted we to bring this topic up. You guys are the ones that put no, Peter the Kool Aid. No, no, no. no, no, no. We, Somebody we, did listen, that. Listen, yeah, no. Right. Eric, find the Kool Aid ride. No. <laughs> somebody, somebody like tried, somebody wrote. It was a. It was a girl. She wrote. Uh, you know, it kills me that people would post this and poke fun when she could have been raped. So, but she shares the photo with, and it, with it all marked out, and it looked like the red Kool Aid. Oh, jammer. really? Well, I decided. I well, decided we got a flag I wasn't on Facebook. Do it. We what? got, or not Facebook, rather uh, YouTube. The video. Somebody reported our video yesterday. Even though, out of all the videos on Facebook, we were the only ones that actually edited our video, did the responsible thing, and blurred out her na- her woman parts. Right? Somebody reported us and had our YouTube account. Flagged and we have one strike against us. So sorry, folks. We can't go live on fi- on YouTube right now because we got that strike against us. How long before we get that? Three months. Oh I I I actually um. That's almost worth a new account. No, <laughs> nah, we, no, because we got a ton of views on this one. Um, I contested it because this is we blurred it out. You know, this is everywhere. You know, so come on now. Let's so, yeah, let's be it, let's be legit about it. When she us twice, it's it's fair game. Yeah, I, don't know I what, think once you do it the second time, in two days, you're fucked. In <laughs> like, two days, and then, and then I guess she was she was complaining and crying on Facebook. 
She she this well she yeah, deleted her, she deleted her Facebook because I wanted to get her as a guest on the show. I think it would be a great idea. Like I felt bad for her. I was empathetic at first. I said, "Listen, See, let's give this girl a platform to explain herself." We want, she's yeah, normal. Too. I seen her at Walmart today. I, I hear. I hear. She was at normal. Walmart. She was in, she was in a parked car at the back of Walmart earlier in a in a um, Dodge. Not if you run across her again, tell her I want an interview. I think it was a Chrysler 300, like a light blue I need one. To interview this girl. And well, I see, looked, yeah. I want to know what I, I want to know. What talk the, to her. I see. I, that's what I'm <laughs> she saying, She might start man. stripping. <laughs> I, I see. I don't even want to bring that kind of attention to This is private business. We could kick her out of here at any point in time. But this still, is the hell really, out of here. Do you really want to deal with that? What are the people saying about this? I don't Eric, are people ta talking about it's this on It's just bullshit. There? Everyone's so sensitive much, now. You no. can't even fucking. You can't make a joke. You can't talk. I, you, you can't, that's the thing. You like, can't I figure things out. People are so, too sensitive. Initially, like I said, me and Joe weren't going to talk about this because initially I felt bad about it. I did. And we did. We're and like, man, this I'm could like, be a, a terrible, nothing. shitty situation. But if you do this shit two times in a row, come on. I mean, it would have to be uncanny situation. Well, let's, let's look at this. She ran She ran past the police station. Everybody's like, well, people freak out about police. Well, I mean, I know that I would run to the police. Police are there to help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just, if I, I'd rather be embarrassed in front of four police officers that could potentially help me, give me a blanket, something, and and then rather than go try and run across State Street. I mean, forget about it. I mean, you got Pete's Bar right there. You could you run into the, the, the library. Everybody, the drunk. our fine sponsors at Johnson's Carpet probably could have wrapped, wrapped her in a remnant. I'm sure we could have done like, something. Too, too many <laughs> bathrooms. She could have ran into any bathroom, locked herself in, and said, "Hey, I, can somebody call Some, the police?" Yeah, she. You could. I don't know. Well, I the just, police. You ran by the police station to not jaywalk. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That was crazy. This the is people, nuts. The only people that try, I feel like the only people that try to avoid the police are the people that are probably doing something bad. Right. Like, I'm not going to go run to the police for help because I'm not probably doing something I'm supposed to be doing. All right, listen. So anyways, I don't, I'm done with this. We're I'm done with it. it. If, it, if it is a, a very weird I'm situation. Done with, I'm done with the hearsay. I'm done with is. the hearsay. It is what it is. I'll wait until I hear some actual news come out and then we'll, and then we'll see what happens. Let's go back to the fight. If you're watching, keep your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> comment is they want you to go back to the fight. Yep. <laughs> Drugs are bad. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways. That's all. Back to the fights. Funny, That's though. what we care about. People eating each other. Fights are way more Back important. to the fights. So back what's next? To the fights. What's the next? The fucking owner of the Muay Thai Association is an asshole. His son's a fucking geek. Wait, what, what, <laughs> and that's who? it. Who, who is this? this Sounds is, like a call this out. Is, this is the Muay Thai Association that uh, they sanctioned the fights for cage wars and they're part of the judges. But as soon as we got there, they were, like, fucking being all biased and shit. We're in the locker room just trying to get ready. Were they high-fiving some this people? This fucking kid comes in. He's like, oh, we got waivers for all the fighters, which, you know, you got to sign the waiver and all that. So but he's like, you got to sign the waiver. And we're like, oh, all right, that's not a problem. And he's like, but let me tell you, if you don't sign the waiver... No one can fight. We're like, all right, we fucking get it, you little geek. <laughs> we get it, man. He goes, because my dad owns this whole thing. Who is this guy? Wait, what? We is... don't, don't throw his name out. Yeah, I don't, don't, know. don't, don't, I don't even know his name. How He's old is he? Fucking, I don't know. He looked like a... That was a we'll thing. Just like, refer to him as little, they little like they were like 18, fucking 19 years old. Looked like they really? never seen a fight in their Do life. Do they have a woman? I love women judges. Yeah, no, I don't think there was a woman there. I wish there should have been. There should have been. This is Jeff. Should have been a woman. I don't know. Something about women. Women judges are usually on point with the scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something about it. I don't really like them refing because um, I just feel like if there was a really bad situation, they're not going to be able to stop two 250-pound dudes from, you know what I mean? You ever see when people lose their shit in an MMA cage? Did I look 250? No. no. Oh, I was, I was going to say that. No, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> you ever yeah, see yeah, people yeah, like, yeah. they won't stop the There's fight? There's been and... some badass refs in there, too, that oh, have yeah. some fighters. So. Oh, yeah. Or, <laughs> like, I've seen both teams run into the cage to get some crazy dude because he's just he's, he lost it. That's the only thing that scares me out women's refs. Judging, I like them. Yeah. I don't mind them judging. Yeah, no, they, they were, like, I just, I don't know, they seemed so weird. The way they were treating us, it was kind of different. Never experienced that. <laughs> but the... The kid, he was like, my dad runs this whole thing. We're like, oh, my God. It's like Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, my God, really? So That's let funny. me ask you a question <laughs> then. hilarious. If you can't get your hands on your previous opponent, is there anybody else you would like to who fight? Who are you gunning for? Who, we want to know who you, anybody that's Dude, willing, I just anybody want the, that will get in the ring with you. I just want the champion of any, any one of them. Give me any. I mean, I'm not going to. Dude, I won't duck anyone. I, as soon as they offer it, like, I'm taking the fight. Right. So. Right. 
What if you have to take two fights to get a championship? I know one thing. He doesn't want to fight me again. (laughs) One's the the next Cage Wars. Are you going to stay in that promotion, Cage Wars? Uh, Slim Lou's my buddy. I like him. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm I'm not fucking signed to them or nothing. I I could go fight for any. any... Because I know of another event happening in two weeks. Uh Uh-oh. Where's that? Right in Niagara, New York. It's King of the Cage, and it doesn't look like the card is filled. I think they're pro. That's no all offense, pro. Slim Lou. I love you to death. That's all pro card. No, you don't got to be like that, man. It's I mean, fighting's fighting, man. That's what I'm saying. He's that's what just I'm trying saying. to fight. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no. Uh, Was it something you'd consider? Because I applied for my press no, pass I definitely, there. No, I definitely will be fighting for other promotions for 100%. Okay. Um, <laughs> Probably before I fight for Cage Wars again, I'll definitely be fighting for somebody else. Well, we got one coming up in two weeks. I'll go with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's like, yo, I'll give you a I'll ride. Go with you. Check I... I know, I know, Gladius has got some fights this weekend, but I, it was I heard about. Where are they out of state? Because I no, did... um, they're in Auburn. They're going to be fighting. Really? That's about an hour and forty minutes that's away. Not, yeah, it's huh. not bad. So, but well, yeah, you're pro no, now. Definitely... You have a pro license now. No, I'm not a pro. I'm I'm just an amateur. Still, yeah. Well, now you're past the point where you could get the pro license, though. Uh, yeah, I could, but might as well hang around, get some experience before you go okay. fight yeah, the killers. Yeah, like yeah, right. see, that's the end. But once you go up, you can't go back. Yeah, I, and like I said, I've only been training for a year, so right. Yeah, it's a year. Why it's not? Only a year. Two years, maybe we'll see. That I'll be thirty. I'll be perfect timing. I think. Yeah, exactly. Hang around, bust up a few amateurs. Well, you're a light thirty, like a like a like a two hundred and fifty pound thirty year old dude is a little is built a little bit different yeah, than yeah, you. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Which, <laughs> so, they're on the bones a little more. I guess so. Lightweight no, people. I feel, live forever. I feel good. I feel young. I feel ready to roll. He's ready to roll. I can't see we don't, wait to see you pop in it again. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be soon. We're excited. We are. It's gonna be really. They soon. got a lot of fans. What time do I, I have you till tonight? Yeah, how long? I know we don't get. It? It's, I don't it's almost eight thirty. Uh, yeah, you guys got me for a little bit longer. I do. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Eight eight twenty eight. Yeah, I like hanging out. Right, that's awesome. That's awesome. I like the shirt, deep vapors. Yeah. Everyone come down here. <laughs> Stop on down for all your CBD vaping oils. Needs. Yep. We got it all the good knees. stuff. We do. It helps your knees. You got headaches. Whatever. We, yeah. Heck yeah. Well, this we is got, a wild berry crush. You got, or what is it? Crunch berry. Crunch berry. Crunch berry. How is it? It's the best. You love it. it. Tastes delicious. You guys need to come down here and experience this. That's awesome. It's we got to. We got to. Can we slide you over and wow, bring Michael in? I thought we I thought we lost people, but we're gaining. We're back. We're back. I want to. I just want to bring Michael in. Um, Are we doing all right? We got some viewers. People want oh, to hear what you have to say. Yeah, people, act, people love you. <laughs> they, do. <laughs> they do. I love you. The first time I met you, I was like, this dude's in fucking. He's cool. I must I see you say, all Jeff. your fucks too. I don't know if anybody's been keeping count from the last video. First but time Jeff, I met Joe, I was like, beers. man, this guy loves pizza. I, I, Joe, I, I, he crushes pizza like the one I've seen. I'm telling you, you guys have no idea. Joe is the sweetest, most lovable per- person in the world, but he will drive you nuts. Tell him what you did with the outlet today, Joe. Oh man! Drove me nuts over an outlet switching it from a two prong to a three prong. So, drove me nuts. Oh, that's my biggest fear right there. I don't play well, around with no electricity. Me, yeah, I well, don't like to either. But he's he. But he, he didn't even need the three prong. And he didn't he, even he need just, the. He, he just wanted to switch it to three prong and didn't even have the three prong. <laughs> so. <laughs> and you, you, I wish you were here to watch him put me through what he put me through. He, we took we. Oh, it's so bad. He's so bad. Drive you nuts. You in? Yeah, yeah. Let's bring in you Michael. 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 Sorry, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael, Michael Doolin. Doolin. Michael Doolin. <laughs> what an old cage fighter. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do is, because we don't want to talk over each other, so that's the one reason. See, you nope. I'm going to have you switch. Nope, you, 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 Michael, you come right over here. Switch sides. You both yep. could have headphones, because yep. or else you're not going to know what the hell anybody's so, yep. saying. So, yeah, he puts those headphones on. You could have those. You both have headphones But we're, now. we're just going to take the mic away from you, Davey, for a little bit. i got to scoot you down scoot, here, and there's scoot, actually scoot, an X on this scoot, thing. See that X, right see that X Davey? Scoot, you got to stay on this oh. side of this X, which means, Michael, you got to really pop over on this side. Oh, sorry. A little bit more. Are all we these, in? All these rules. A little Are bit we, more. Can we get him? What are we going to do? Let's get Davey get about a, a six right inches in. closer. Your brother's. Now we're gravy. All right. All right. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen. Michael Doolin. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like he, he had to See have what an I'm introduction. Saying? See what I'm saying? Michael Doolin. High five. What's up, man? You dominated your fight. Yeah. You dominated your fight. I uh, there you go. I, I was looking through to, and I wanted to give you guys both a, a highlight video. 
Davey, your fight was so long. <laughs> <laughs> but Michael, your fight was the whole fight was a highlight video. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, Eric, you got headphones on? I don't know how to bring it. Don't up. what my his fight? Yeah. It's go right to uh, Dale Donuts um, YouTube. Oh, it's on. It's it's, on I, I uploaded it right onto our YouTube. We're gonna pull up uh, Michael's highlight video. I, I knocked it down to about two minutes, and really the whole fight didn't yeah, take too much longer than that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool video too. I like it. Um, you can watch it all fast. But we're gonna watch it with Michael first. We're gonna wait for uh, right there. Click the top one, Dale Donuts. And there you go. And is hit, that really hit, happening outside right videos. now? Peel out. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. The first big guy, right? Yeah, click him, and then uh, tell us when you got it ready. And we'll talk I'm proud back, of you, man. Back, Your debut. Back, thank back you. Mike. Thank you. It's all, it was awesome. You, were you nervous? Uh, no. None at all? I, I mean, I can't say, like, none at all, but, like, when I, like, have done previous things, like sing or gaming competitions, I used to get pretty nervous. Right. You know, like, where it would affect right. me. Right. But, no, I loved it. It was, like, I wasn't scared. Or Do you get nervous like doing that. this? Are you nervous at no, all right now? No. That's awesome. When I, no. me and Joe just got back from our buddy at the Disruption Network Z's show. Oh, yeah. We do this every week. I'm not nervous at all yeah, here. No. When I went there, it was like something weird about not having control of the situation. Like it was just, I had like this little bit of nerves. It was, it was awesome. It was like a good feeling. Right. But when you hopped in that cage, nothing. No, no emotion. Walking I out. I, I think you could see I felt pretty comfortable. You, here. You, I mean, well, yeah. we're, well, we're gonna find out. Even here in walking a out, we got the video. Uh, as soon as I walked out, I, you know, I put my hands up. I, I loved it. It was, I was just like. Even behind, looking at the whole crowd, just looking out and just hearing everyone like waiting, I would, I love that. We're gonna, we're gonna, a second of it. we're gonna throw it up for you. You, you ready for this, Eric? Yeah, we're all set. All right, come on, put them up Eric, for us. Here. I had him kind of like in a backwards guillotine too when I was coming over like the thing and he couldn't read the whole time but I didn't want to burn my arm out so I abandoned that. So well. when you pulled that arm triangle as soon as you got it on full mount you must have squeezed like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I put my shoulder right down and I was squeezed I was I was giving a, I, I felt so strong like he felt like literally 
Nah, well, I mean, it just felt like. And I then you popped up like. Really <laughs> I was, yeah, if you watch the end of the video, you just see him pop up. Oh, dude, how was, how was the adrenaline was, when you popped oh, up? God, have drunk. you ever felt anything like no, that no, in your no, life? No, I no, no. It's like no. killing animals, you right? You could have jumped yourself right over that cage. You were just was amped. That you was awesome. Tell. High five. Oh, yeah, dude, high five. That was definitely awesome. I was. That wasn't a high five, Joe. Whatever. That was. Whatever. I don't know if you know what a high five. Yeah. Apparently, Jeff made high fiving. On our show, a thing. High fives are cool, dude. Well, what I had knuckle punches. They're like know. so old. Whatever. I want. I wanted to go more though. I'm ready to go again. The fast. What, what are we gonna do with you now? I don't know. It's up to the. It's like just give me really. somebody. You know, it's up shit. to my coach, really. You know. You know. I'm not gonna jump into nothing stupid. Also, clearly, yeah. you're fresh off a of camp. You're yeah. clearly in shape. You still got those oh, abs, yeah. even though you're eating pizza. Yeah, I'm ready. I can eat whatever. You really, took so. no damage. Yeah. No so damage. how quick can we get you back in I the mean, cage? Whenever it's up, really up to my coach. Really see what's smarter. I'm not gonna jump into nothing that's stupid, but I do want to get another fight Two fast. Two weeks. Two weeks. That's no, what I, I mean. I, I'll do that too because I do want to get my second fight out of the way because I want to yeah. get the pads off. You yeah. Know what I mean, I want. What, what was that old boxing game that you used to play? Mike Tyson's fight Punch fight out. night. Remember fight night? Yep. And the way to have the best fighter was to get a fighter and fight all the time when you were young. Because then you get the best record and you're you're like in the best shape, which is true. You might want to let's do it next week. <laughs> no, I'd rather. Yes. I, I want it. Like, I want to get my second. I want to get the pads off, so I'd like to do my second one because you can't ever even get like a near title fight with pads on and shit. You know what I mean? I want to get. It, yep. You know, moving on, and I feel like a oh. strike with anybody. Gina has a question. What's the question? Have you guys ever fought each other? No, not they really. They spar, no. right? You guys spar. You guys... We've had, like, little kid fights. Where well, yeah, but, but even when you're at Mohawk Valley like... MMA, you don't spar 40%? Yeah, we spar, yeah. yeah. No, we spar a little bit. We don't. Right. I'm not going to go high. I prefer to spar real light with anybody. What weight do you fight at? 135. Same same. Would you fight him? No. For the right amount of money? No, for, yeah, a lot of money. What? How much? What's the number? Yeah, what's the number? <laughs> here's, Jeff's, here's Jeff's awkward question yeah. of the day. He for... punched me up to Christmas dinner no. on accident. Put them, give him the mic. Tell, tell, tell yeah. us the story. Wait, what? Sorry about this, I'm Mike. Sorry, Mike. I, I walked into my uh, Christmas dinner at my aunt's. I was there for two seconds. <laughs> Christmas. And he, he's all excited about his upcoming fight. And he's like, oh, no, when I get in there, you know, I'm just going to do this. And wham. And he smashed me square right in the forehead. How'd that feel? I lumped me up pretty good. I, how I much? instantly threw up hands. How I, much I would like, it take what? for you guys to like full blown fight each other? Um, I wouldn't fight them. I Ever? Mean, no, million not, bucks? We fought so much as kids. Million bucks? Well, then uh, I would do it for less. I mean, I'd I, fight Jeff know? for ten bucks. I don't know. I just I, I would beat you up though. That's the wanna, problem. This... I don't want to fight. <laughs> we fought so much as kids and. It sucks. Jake Henson, yeah. you we ride got in a together, fight. you die together. That's hey. Yeah. We got in a fight a couple of years ago or something. We were fighting. He darted me in the kitchen. I hit him back. And I, <laughs> I, you feel bad. It's a <laughs> shitty feeling. You know? Yeah. They made a movie about that. It's like that. the same thing. I got in a fight with my dad before, and I, I felt guilty after I did, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's never a good thing. I know what you mean. It's a shitty thing. You feeling. can't fight your family. So, <laughs> can't do it. Well, how about teammates? million bucks, though. I fucking... Teammates? I want to see Anthony Tedesco back in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming. He says he's coming. So we'll see. Is he really? He, uh, is there a chance yeah, he, he can wants come back? To. He wants to. He's training. He's back in the gym. So it's up to him. He's, you know. uh, he's been looking pretty good. I see the G. He told oh, he's always I in follow, good shape. I follow him on Facebook. Yeah, he's in good shape. Yeah, I don't know if you know Anthony Tedesco. I don't know Anthony Tedesco. You need to know Anthony I Tedesco. Do? Is he awesome? He, yeah, he's pretty He's good. another local guy. How old guy. is he? Well, he doesn't. Does he even live around here anymore? Like, is he yeah, 29, maybe 29, 30? He walks so, around at 130, though. He looks like a sculpture. Oh, yeah, really? Dude, he's like <laughs> one yeah, of those dudes. Yeah, he just, yeah, all the ladies want him. That's <laughs> awesome. He does. Good with the ladies. Does he? Yeah, he does the bathroom fix. Yeah. He does? <laughs> he might be why. He knows. He's got to be watching. If I walked around looking like a sculpture, I'd have the bathroom fix, <laughs> too. Dude, I totally would. You know too. what I mean? I'd walk, I, I totally. I don't even take my shirt off at Water Safari, man. Like, come yeah. on. I can't do it. Really? Yeah, no, I just... Why not? Cause Why? Who cares what you look like, dude? Just, maybe if Leah, when Leah waxes my back, I'll do it. But. Yeah, you're concerned, <laughs> out of Very all that, you're it. concerned with the hair on your back? I got like half a ab going. That's good enough. <laughs> to you start. Could you could paint them on with the light. I, I yes, the, the, the spray on spray tans. On we, we could, gosh, you guys are genius. Yeah. See, my older brother's a big guy, and he embraces his. 
Sorry, we, we we're not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta give you. We gotta see. That's how that works. We gotta well, give you. Well, you know what? We're experimenting with this because we had we we can run four mics. That's no problem. Um, but me and Joe never shut up. Nope. So the problem is, we figure if we take a mic away, like we were gonna be like, you can't even sit with us when we're doing one guest at a time. It's we, we want to start we, doing that. We have. Problems. We ruined it for everybody. We're we, the bad apples. We really are. So at this point, we're we're limiting one microphone, so everybody's. I'm doing everything I can. I tap my foot to just not talk over you, and I don't know why. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so other than fighting, what's in your future? Jake, no problem. Just, man. just, well, just still working, having fun. Working, know, singing, just, having yeah, fun. Yeah. Nothing. Everything was mute. What's mute? Are we good now? Somebody said they couldn't hear yeah, us. Yeah, during the fight. The YouTube, yeah. You know how the fight was muted. Yeah. Oh, everything was. For how oh. long? Just during that fight. Oh, oh. all right. Well, listen. Yeah, whatever. Listen, we're listen, on a learning we, curve. We had a lot of intelligent conversation that you missed during the fight. Um, but it was cool. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> Do we run audio over there, recording into the into the system too? No, not if we mute we, ourselves. We stopped after. We mute ourselves. It's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. Yeah, but right now I'm just going to be a lot of fighting, you know, and just working and, you know, working out. It's not much too much Singing. Time. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I saw one you of know. your last videos. You did yeah, good. Yeah, no, that was, that, that was a long time ago, though. That oh, it was? was? Yeah, that was when you were in, like, that bar? Yeah, yeah. That was, I was, you could tell I looked out of shape. Well, I, what I th my main thought was give this fucking kid a good microphone. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're on one of those yeah, wireless karaoke talk. mics. See, I get, I get a little nervous when yeah, I sing, I, you know, like, for the first time, and then I loosen up, but, like, in the ring, man, I felt literally yeah, just ready. ready. That's awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. I was pumped for you. Live. I was totally impressed yeah. with your performance. I came live. I don't know. It's like something took over. It that kid, like, did he have ring experience? No. Hey, Anthony, no, I'm sorry. He, Anthony yeah. Tedesco is on. Oh, what's up, Anthony Tedesco? I don't know you, but thanks for joining us. Two-tone. Two-tone. <laughs> Two-tone. <laughs> My nickels. You know, you guys are a pleasure, and... I have a, a fighter coming in to talk to me on Monday. Um, his, I didn't even know this. Fight, well, you got to be involved because I want to do the full production for him. It's going to be like a real interview, not one of my phone interviews. Oh, um, so this is he's going to come is, in. His name is uh, Josh Rickey, and he's from Whitesboro. Do you guys know him? Did he fight at the cage wars? No, he's oh, actually fighting in the king of the cage. He's a multiple no, title know. holder, though. He's got he's got a bunch of titles, um, and he's a young kid, and he's doing good. Um, so I met Josh Rickey before. Yeah. Um, Back in the day when I was going to MVMA, he used to go there. So yeah, he's a badass. He dude. is a badass. He's kid. a real badass. He's uh, he's next level shit. I don't know <laughs> him. He's is he a nice guy? Yeah, yeah. He is. He, he's I awesome. would love to have him um, booked. I would like to have an interview like this type of deal, a podcast with him. But we are booked solid for at least the next month. Um, so what now? You got him coming in. I have him coming in on Monday during the daytime to shoot an interview for his fight. Oh, cool. Because yeah, I'm just going to sit that. down with him and just do a, an interview for oh, the fight shit. deal. Joe makes a mess. Um, but Five seconds. I was going to – I talked to my friend uh, Z over at the Disruption Network, and he's awesome. We had a lot of fun at the podcast. But to be honest with you, I think he would enjoy you guys a lot. Yeah. So if you're ever interested in going over to my friend Z's podcast and checking him out and hanging out with him for some time, I know he would love to have you guys because cool. you guys are both great conversation. Yeah, I'm not sure if Z's watching, but yeah. Z, if Put you're watching. I'll go. I'll talk all day. It, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching, you want my dueling boys there because they are awesome. He had a bunch of monkeys today. Well, it was a band. It was, it was a band, band. And, and, they, and they dress up like monkeys, and they were funny as hell. I was trying to watch in between our radio breaks. Oh, yeah, we are at the radio station. But, yeah, you guys should check him out. Or I'll, get, I'll hook you guys up, all, all right. you guys up with the number at the end, because you guys would be great on the show yeah, with I each other. I think Josh Rickey's main event for his card, right? His pro card? I don't know. The problem is with that King of the Cage card is it's coming up quick. I looked at the card. I have, um, what's his name? Uh, Jeff Dunn's. He's uh, out of West U um, New York, too. And he's the only one that has a profile picture on the fight card. He looks awesome. Bald dude beard, and he's got like, these big bugged out eyes like he's about to kill everybody. I have an interview with him on uh, Saturday. But he the, that kid's been training for a long time, too. So it's a pretty, from what card that they have, everybody that I've researched on the card has legit careers. And are pretty tough people. You know what I mean? It's awesome, man. Those guys are all, yeah, they're all on the brink. Oh, yeah. Well, Jeez. I didn't realize that that promotion has so many fighters that actually went far 
yeah. Jeremy Stevens fought Tom, there. Top tier guys. Oh yeah, you know, Rampage Jackson fought out of there. Ronda Rousey. It's like, come on, Ronda Rousey. Uriah Favor was on there. Uriah Favor. What Uriah Favor was there. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of people come out of that uh, that promotion. So th that's cool. So this Ricky kid must be a badass to be yeah, fighting he, out of there. Dude, he's he'll be in the UFC. He's. You think? Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. I'm excited to have him. See, Joe, you better be here to help me get do a nice interview for it. this kid. Yeah, he hasn't been beat yet. So. Z says, send him. All right, guys. I got to send his yeah, information. Hang on, well, hang on. Hang on. Eric, Eric just wanted to say something. What? Z says he's more than welcome to have you guys send him yes. your information. Z, there it you're is. smart. You're Z. smart. These dudes are awesome. Thank you. You want these guys. Yes, yes you do. And Z shoots in the, in the daytime. He shoots from like 3 to 5 30. And you're available in the yeah, daytime mostly. works out perfect. So you yeah, just go out there and hang those. out and have a good time. Yeah, cool. so definitely go. Uh, we'll give you. I'll give you Z's number. You could get with him. You guys could work stuff out. Hop on the Baby disruption. Network. I'm gonna hop off my right, headphones and shake your hand. Yeah, we're gonna thanks shake his hand real guys. quick. He's gonna take off, but Mike Mike's hanging out still. Yeah, so so hang man. tight. Thank you for the shirt. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you brother. You, Thank brother. You. Awesome. Oh, yeah. E money, E money. <laughs> All right, there baby, have a great night. You're the best. Davy's got to go to work. <laughs> Next time, Davy be, will be here. He'll have a belt. You're gonna be back before that anyway. You're welcome here anytime you want. You don't need a belt. You want to just come and hang out with us? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. We don't care. We love you guys. I'm gonna get a couple belts, so I want to be covered. <laughs> I know. He, want, he needs the strap. I know. He needs that strap. He says he's going to do yeah, some naked photo right. shoots with the belts. I want one, too. You want to do naked photo shoots, too, though? Oh, naked? I, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, me, too. For money, yeah. Who cares? I'll do it for out money. Without for out money? That's not a real word. For, for, <laughs> for, for out money. For out money. What the? Seriously? Why would you throw it? What happened? Well, uh oh what? We're turning into, uh, oh. we're turning uh, into the nightmare hour. No, Let's no. see here. Holy cow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of activity that Eric's got to answer to. Oh, my gosh. Eric's got, to answer, Eric's got some talking. Holy cow. There we go. We're back in the saddle again. We've got 27, 24. We've got a lot of people watching Everybody, this Everybody, right please make sure you share this. Yeah, share this. So all the people can see Doolin's. These guys are awesome. Well, just me now, Davey's well, now, gone. Well, yeah, now Davey's gone. But we, we got Mike. And uh, yeah, so apparently we were muted. What are we? What are you doing, Jeff? What are I'm we... just watching, listening to these comments. Uh, there's a comment saying that. What do you got? That what are they saying? You, you, you and you and Davey would fight for a thousand dollars a piece. They fought each other for less. No, we've never, really, we've never really fought. I've never thrown, I've never thrown a hard punch at David. You know, he's hit me a couple times. That vicious bastard, drunk. But uh, <laughs> that vicious bastard. Uh, yeah, but no, I've never really went at him. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, you know. Why would I? Mary Barry And he's the type oh I'm sorry, I don't mean no, no. but the more he's the type, the more you go at him, the harder he goes. So it's not smart to hit him. Barry McCockner wants to know what Josh's weight class. He's like um I think he's like one forty five. Josh Ricky? Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I don't he's know. about one forty five. How much do you weigh, Barry? And where are you from? He send us your credentials. <laughs> His, that's actually a funny name if you looked at remember we laughed at it last time His Barry? name is Barry McCalkiner like Barry McCalkiner you know this guy yeah yeah he goes to the I love yeah. him <laughs> he goes to the to the Y where I work as I think his name is uh, Doug Aurelio Corey says he, that that uh, you've hit us all hard before let's uh let's no bring... that was just a light tap what I would oh, really light do tap. A love yes. tap Corey yes, love that's tap. a love tap yes so, uh, my next opponent well, is going to get the real hammer well, I ain't made a mess. Can't hear anything. No sound. Oh, that was all fixed. You're you're way back in the comments. Welcome, Joe. To the Joe is has a tiny. Skip that. <laughs> uh, Somebody said Josh is 135. 135 pounds. is Josh. There we go. We're back. I, in I the think comments. I have his bio right here under all this paperwork somewhere. Um. Yeah. So yeah. I want to break. I want to talk about Travis Shear. I want oh, to talk. Yeah, he's the man. Oh my God, Beefcake. Yeah, uh, North beef South train. Train. I, I know, but it I, right. He's one and all. Train. Listen, I yeah. know he's the Beef Train, but yeah. I call him Beef. I don't know. Like, North here. South Choke. Yeah. Oh, fast cool, too. Cool. Fifty three seconds, I think. Or yeah. 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 It was yeah. fast. I, 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 oh, I was man. doubting that because <laughs> Abdullah has a decent fight record. Yeah. 
You know, and uh, but who? So I don't, I don't but, look at that. See, I, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, because who? Who did he? Don't, you don't know, you don't know who he fought. Some people's records hurt him. He's like, yeah, this guy fought twelve times, but yeah, he got knocked out hard three times. So it's hard three knockouts. Right. Suck. You know. Right. <laughs> and then there's no so, joke. Uh, I'm gonna be from number four for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's yeah. funny. This guy Joe Taylor that I'm interviewing tomorrow. If you see him, if anybody wants to look him up, this, we're talking MMA right now. Sorry, Joe. This guy, Joe Taylor, he's 2-0 and pro, but he's got, like, millions of other, you know, kickboxing fights, this, that, and everything else. Right. He's fighting this dude called Dari this dude Darius Flowers, right? He's called Beast Mode. He's out of Chicago. He's a young dude. He's 23 years old. But here's the funny thing about this Darius Flowers thing. I was thinking about this. I want your input on this. He's got a giant Gracie Jiu-Jitsu tattoo across his chest. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I mean, if you sucked at jujitsu real bad right. and you put a giant a Gracie tattoo, would that deter somebody from trying to take you down? Um, it, it, you'll find out after the fight. <laughs> <That's really laughs> if you sucked at jujitsu, why would you put a Gracie tattoo? He's got a submission yourself. loss on his record too. The kid does have so a submission he's not loss. Good at That's just embarrassing is it, is it, I know, but is it like a mental thing to try to screw with the opponent? Like, it, look, I'm a jujitsu dude. But it all depends on the opponent because somebody that gets nervous could be nervous and not try to go for a takedown. <laughs> or somebody can fun. say, I'll tell you, I wanna, I'm want i going to tap that dude out because he's got the greasy Maybe, tattoo. but I'll tell you one thing. This dude doesn't want to be standing with Joe Taylor. Joe Taylor is a monster, and he's a kickboxer, and he's like – He's one of the most level-headed like fighters that I've ever heard speak. His intelligence level is very high, which intelligence level does translate into fighting. Right. So a lot of the smartest fighters are the best fighters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. They're the ones calling, commentating. They're the champions. Yeah. You know, they know what to do when they're in the in the cage, and they have a, you know, a good mentality when it yeah, comes no, to that. Yeah, no, definitely a good awareness in the cage is everything. Like. Just like when you start the fight, just like rotating around to push your opponent back towards your corner and just high fight IQ, knowing the clock, knowing right? Certain things like it definitely helps everything. I right. get knocked out in like five seconds. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, yeah, you get murdered. Probably. Can we talk about Joe's beard? Can, can we get into this factor? Um, is that a beard? Uh, did you see what he did to it? It's like I, a maze. It's like a corn maze. Earlier. I didn't know if he got attacked. That's what I thought. Like, like, uh, so, like something I, happened I, to his face. I, Joe, I, go up to the camera and show the, show our, our viewers what you did to your face. We have a Keep professional going. event tomorrow, the no swearing Keep type. A little bit closer. A little bit. There you go. Turn your face to the there side. Go. Turn it go to the, the side. side. You know, I'm Profile, just, just going to put this Look right at the deep vapors on the record, Joe. That's not going to be good for the chicken, the hot chicken go. wings that you have to eat for yeah. the viewers because that's going right to That's Joe's the beautiful skin. beard now. Right to the skin, Joe. It's like a racetrack on his cheek. Whatever. Oh, yeah. That hot sriracha sauce you're going to be eating tomorrow, Joe. I'm eating shit. Yes, you are. You no. said you would make the. You made the saying that you would do this. But I didn't say from what pizzeria in which I was. Well, you gotta be eat doing five. It. Fine. You want to wait till the last one and eat five of those those he, death he wings. He can't eat five. He knows because Lombardo's one, one has. Do, just to, that's all I want to see. Tap it up. L Lombardo's has suicide wings. You won't. You won't try that. You're scared. I, yeah. I don't blame well, you. Well, you got to try one of them. Like, that regardless, you're trying a hot wing. <laughs> you might as well just, it's like jumping, being the first one to right. jump in the pool. You might as well just do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah, that's a great idea, Eric. We'll have you go first before the contestants go to see what they're in oh, store to for. give them. Oh, that'd be awesome. Try to oh, freak them out. Joe intimidation. And they're like, oh, shit. I'm not I doing it. Well, do watch it. them back out yeah. before it even happens. I don't think I can handle it. I really don't. Just have him eat one, just one in front of the contestants. You know what? It might not be a bad idea to let Joe back out of it because look what the, he did with the stupid cinnamon challenge. I, mean, I it loved off. it, and it smelled you didn't so pull it good off. in here. You did not pull it off. You didn't pull it. You were gone from camera for you 20 minutes. Yeah, Maybe you pulled yourself the off in the bathroom. Is, I, I, you'd have to pay me a real lot of money to try something. You'd rather like eat the chicken wings than the cinnamon challenge? Yes, I would never eat a spoonful of cinnamon. We watched a guy on YouTube do the cinnamon challenge. He did it in a huge amount. Yeah. I have saltines if He's you guys want to try the saltines. I've heard now. What is that? I've heard that you, put you gotta, your whole you gotta try to eat like ten saltines in like a minute, but with no water. No, like, water, no water, no water. Isn't there a donut thing or something? Nah, no. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Mike Jewel and get the get the crackers. Just, I think I've done it before. I actually, think I don't I, think you've done. Nobody. We're doing it, Mike Jewel. Hang on, we're doing it, Mike Jewel. Joe, would you do the milk? It's the safest of all the challenges. I think is the saltine challenge. Hang on, Eric. Eric just said about eight. 
eight? I thought it was ten. I think it's ten, but no, the safest of all the challenges. Oh. Yeah, let's you know, do it. Because you can't you know, die. Find the fucking crackers. Oh, I just got to do it. Word. Oh, no, my mouth is far too dry. And I'm yeah. not doing what it. What did Joe do it? There's, wa there's water right I'd there. I'd like to see Joe try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, we'll, we'll make the guts. Round them up, Eric. All right, we'll try it. Maybe it'll work up my courage to try I believe they're back by the microwave in the back room there. Eric, get on that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get Joe. I've, I've definitely tried the challenge before. I, I you have? Yeah, I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's a safe one. You're about ready to do it again. I wasn't a cage fighter, though. Listen, how many no, get, how many people out there want to see <laughs> <laughs> Mike Doolin do do the, the saltine challenge? Mike Doolin, if we get enough people to band together with superpowers I won't make, No, no, I'm not making any of my guests ever do any kind can of I challenge. Can I make you do it? Me? Yeah. You know how I am. I'm not a bridge jumper off or Joe. Yeah, no, you're the kind of You are. I, also, I, am the I also do think I might be able to drink a whole gallon of milk. Really? Yeah. What is the... Tr do, the do I have to Anthony send... There's only been what a is, few people that's ever done that, too. What is the sugar-free teddy bear challenge? Gummy bear challenge? I've never had that. I don't know. Though. That's where Joe does it. What would you say, Eric? I had them. Maybe they're over here on this counter. Sarah, where's the saltines if you're watching? Sarah, I just had them the other day. It was like a sleeve of saltines. Maybe they got eaten or thrown out. We had soup here the other day. I do. Nothing back there? Oh, oh. Okay. How many are there? All right. How Don't throw them. Yeah, that's Seriously, good. Seriously, that's retarded. Yeah, that's Don't enough. Do that. There's that's enough. enough. There's 20 in there. There's at least Let me 20 see. in there. Let me There's see. Like I'll feed them to you. Well, I'll hand them to you. Oh, hey, give well, me we'll just hey, count. Eric, get me the water. Be a good host. No, you don't get I, I water. Get no, you, don't, you don't get water. Yeah. That's the you don't point. get water. I, yeah, I want to get it started first. Okay. I can use it. All right, it hold on. I'll... You want to warm Car up soap. water? And I'm going to look up the proper cracker instructions. All right, before we start, so we'll just leave this right here for now. All right, we'll set that there. Set that right there. Okay, thank you, thank so we have we have the water, we have the crackers. Water, cra we have the ingredients for a if, saltine jelly. If you're gonna do a challenge, be responsible be about, about it. Dude, it. You know, Tide Pods, all that stupid stuff. I mean, that, that died. Bring, thank God. Thank I haven't God. heard See, enough, I haven't heard about, about it about already. It. I was going to just murder people about that. Yeah, Tide Pod thing. They never shut up about it. Look, I never even heard about anybody dying from it. Yeah, but Me I'm neither. Not, but but I'm not, I don't want to find heard out. that you could die from the cinnamon challenge yeah. if you choked I've on it like heard, a hellet. I've heard it, but if you it, eat a whole spoonful of cinnamon, The internet you said the cinnamon will collapse your lungs yeah, if inhaled. Yeah, if the cinnamon can it, collapse your yeah. lungs. I don't, I don't know if that's yeah, true. If you, and if you call, it was on the internet, so it must be, right? I call BS on that. I'm a French man. No, I do feel that if you put a whole thing of cinnamon right away, you could definitely choke on it. I try. I yeah, if you did. inhale, you definitely you it could, burns. You could like, definitely, it, was, it wasn't. You fun. could definitely like aspirate and like, especially if you're a man doing, of age. You want me to tell you guys a funny story? Oh. A couple months ago, what I did. So I'm at my house, and uh, it was me and my daughter, and Sarah and my son Michael were somewhere. So me and my daughter are home alone. My daughter's six years old, and I wake up in the morning, and I'm like, "Hey, honey, you want some cinnamon toast?" And she's like, "Sure." So I go in the kitchen and I start toasting, toast and whatnot. Great, now I want cinnamon toast. Oh, it's so good. So uh, we have right on the kitchen table, there was a cylinder of sugar, like a cylinder, not a bag, like in the cylinder. Right, right. And it was like, like a diner style? Yeah, no, like like in like before you dump it into like your cinnamon shakers or whatever. You know, it's just like a tube, like salt. You know how salt comes in the tubular thing? Sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, normal people that have seen products. The flip up yeah. With the flip Eric's up. sitting here going, yeah, like looking at Joe. I do like, not know what the hell salt comes okay, in. Okay, all right, so. It says iodized well, salt. Exactly, exactly. Well, the, the, flip up. the thing was, it, exactly. So the salt was right next to, to the sugar, right? Yeah. So I sit there and I mix the cinnamon oh, together, okay. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know what I did. I, I put, I used salt instead of sugar, right? You oh, scarred God. that poor little so, girl. So I make the cinnamon toast, I make hers, and I make mine, and it's all buttered up. It's got a bunch of cinnamon on oh, it. That ruins and I go there, and I take a couple bites, and she's eating it. And I'm looking at her, and I'm like, I'm like something, this butter. I'm like, this butter's salty. What the hell is up with this butter? It's because you use so, salt, you <laughs> so dumbass. I think, I, I'm like my second or third bite. I'm like, this, I messed up. And I look over, and I'm like, shit, did I really put salt in there? I walk over to the kitchen. Sure enough, I, I, I grab salt. I look at her. I'm like, why did you keep eating? You're so polite. My little daughter is so nice and so polite. She kept eating my terrible toast. Did she say it wasn't good? Oh, yeah. Anything? Oh, yeah. She so was she like, really was being really sweet that and was just it. like, daddy made it, so I'm going to eat it. What a sweetheart. Isn't she a good girl? Six I years fed old. her She's salty adorable. cinnamon. Oh, salt ruins my whole day. People used to mess around at work and put it in your drink. Oh, God, <laughs> really? Oh, mess your whole day. Or like Shots when they unscrew it. the cap, so yeah. when you use it, oh, oh. you don't use salt at all? 
You know, I use salt, but it would it shocks you when they put it in your drink or oh, something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I looked up the cracker channel. Okay, oh, what, what do we got here? Here we it, go. I want to look up how to conquer it. That's what I think. That's what Eric just looked up. No, it just I just wanted to look up the actual rules to make sure it was what it was just that simple. Ten, ten crackers. But yeah, ten. Ten crackers in a minute. Is in, it in sixty seconds? In sixty seconds, we got no with no liquid. We got a timer going on. Well, we could we could keep track. I'll time it on my phone. All right, we'll get a timer going. Hold on, Joe. We're gonna pull out the timer. Make sure that. We, we don't want to jip you. Oh, my phone. Uh, uh. Beer Belly Bob's hooked us up with this. Uh, it's it's Schmaltz a Brewing Company. It's Hebrew, the chosen brew. You ready? Messiah Nut Brown Ale. This beer is on, awesome. I on. like it. It's on like that. And it, it's, gone. what was it, six ninety nine for a six pack? Can this, you interview us so like we're, we're about ready to fight, like but not really Are you going to do it too? Yeah, we're going at it. Oh, we, my god! 60 seconds. In this corner, Wait. we have the wonderful, marvelous, awesomest dude in the whole wide world, Michael Doolin. Fighting out of Illion, New York. Training oh, we got out a of, challenge going? Oh, yeah. Mohawk Beautiful. Valley MMA. Has in nothing, this corner. Has nothing to do with this challenge. In this corner, my partner in crime and the most lovable human being on earth. Weighing in at a solid 221 pounds. He's lying. It's much, much more than that. He broke my steps. Um, <laughs> Concrete steps. Joe the Animal Natarelli. When's the timer begin? Hang on, I'm not ready yet. I got it set. You just tell you tell me when you want me to hit the button. You got all yours? Okay. Ready? Gentle, are you gentlemen ready? Gentlemen ready? This corner ready. This corner ready. Oh, I'm ready. On my cut. Fight! One down. Mike's got, Joe's got two in his mouth. I think he's double. I think he's doing Mike's two at two. once. Mike's got two. Oh, he's going single. Three. Mike's got three. He's got three in his mouth? I didn't know that. You can do as many as you want. Just eat them. Yeah, Swallow. you don't have to do one at a time. You can stuff them all Is in. Is it getting harder? Want. It's got to mm -hmm. be getting harder. <laughs> Mike's doing pretty good. What are we doing on the clock? How are we at for the clock? We're at 31 seconds. 31 seconds. You guys got to get it all in your mouth now. Chew it all up. Who's going to win this bout? Mike's got seven left. Mike's got seven left. Joe's got 20 seconds. 19. Mike's got two. Mike's got two. Mike's got two. Come on. At the end, your mouth has to be clean, too. Like, you got to swallow. You can't just have a mouthful of crackers. It's got to be clean. Swallow. Swallow, Joe. Swallow. If you swallow, the real challenge is only six. If you could swallow that right now. Boom. We're done. 60 seconds is up. The real challenge was only six, ladies and gentlemen. We tried. Six. You got six? Yeah. Well, he, oh, we I got, got a little in my mouth. What, what the fuck? You lied to me? Yes, yeah, we lied. We, we added four more. <laughs> I think the Mike real, did the it. Real real challenge. Challenge. You, you went over by a couple seconds. You might have gone by like Dude, a second or two. But. I literally could have just swallowed at six. You're a jackass. Dude, I just do it again. No. <laughs> we sick. got enough to do it again. Dude, I seriously hate yeah, you. Yeah, the official I rules are completed. six for sixty seconds, and we decided to add four more. I for totally Joe. was about ready to do. We I thought did it would, that. We thought it would would increase your chances. I don't know, we're have to go back to the video feed to see because I, I completed that. I'm gonna, I, right. Yeah, you you got, got, You're a true champion. Would you would you look at this? Would you look at that? I could have swallowed Would the you? time that I was stuffing two more of these into my mouth. You only ate three? I could have <laughs> swallowed at six and I would have been done. Well, next time swallow someone tells six, you no, to swallow, that's a, that's a swallow. Real, I actually looked up research on the, right before we did that real quick and it said the best option. And I actually kept saliva in my mouth from the start. I didn't even breathe for like the last two minutes. I was, <laughs> I was dying to start. I'm like, I'm gonna start right. So I took the three, swallowed, chewed them up, swallowed them down, yep. let it, gave like five seconds. This is some bullshit. Then let a little bit of more saliva build back Talk up. Talk into the microphone. Let a little bit of yeah. saliva build back up. Yeah. Three more and then just I, boom. Can I quit the show right now and not wait till Sunday? I wish you would. I quit the show. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Can I have another piece of the pizza? Absolutely. Yeah, eat the rest, eat the rest of it. Go yeah. We got Beer Belly Bob's beer. We, ha we have drinks. Yeah. We have all sorts of stuff. You want the last piece? Go for it. Well... Vic that that victory. competition right there was was brought to you by uh, the clip joint. 
Leah and Pendergrass. Tina Bennett. That was a big deal. Oh yeah, Tina and, and, and Tina, Tina Bennett. <laughs> that was a twofer. Tina Bennett. That Thank a, you. A twofer. What did the viewers say? Do they think? What I'm, do you guys I'm think? Legit on the on the finish. Let's, there? let's that find was, out. Yeah. What, what do you guys think? Alice said she said I'm gonna get. I'm pretty sure they're, they're saying they're pretty sure you did it. Slow chewing. They. I got screwed. They, try to get. You're still eating them. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> There's still, still ten crackers for you. Do I, it, Joe. Okay. The viewers are thinking he got it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I say, got. I got screwed. I, I mean, I might have had a, I might have had a little little piece left in my mouth, but it was in there and it was. It was definitely going. And if you knew it was six yeah, from the beginning, I, oh, yeah. you definitely could have oh, done it. Definitely, you definitely could have done it if oh. you knew, like, it was just six. Yeah, I would have pounded sure. it right down and for swallowed sure. I, yeah. would, and I was there. No, what did I do? Just throw some more in my mouth like a retard. No, I was dumb. I was dumb. I was dumb. You weren't dumb, Joe. You were fooled. I was I was fooled, and that was ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. I told Jeff goes 10, and I, I fingered six up, but I said, yeah, tell him 10. You really? I was ready that? to throw the other four in my mouth. I was gonna try to swallow them whole. <laughs> no, you definitely just the, you got the challenge yeah, for sure. No, because I, I would have swallowed harder if I knew it was sixty seconds or yeah, six so, crackers yeah. too. Yeah, I yeah, was had did. four in my hand going. Ah, well, I'm not gonna choke myself to death. Right? Yeah, you know, you definitely completed. Ridiculous. I'm just trying to get my yeah, feet. Yeah, now if anyone don't like that either, I'll do it again anyways another day when my mouth's got a little. Mikey, you're a sucker, man. Don't do not do it. They, uh, oh, Brian, uh, I'm a little, Brian I'm a Brant little says Beer Belly Bobs has some challenges for us. Wait, what do you, oh, Brian, I, what? I love do, challenges. Brian Brant, you have my attention. Do go on. I can eat too. What other, what kind of challenges? Because we've been talking about, we've been talking about the chicken wing challenge because that starts tomorrow. A little fun recap. We go live. We got four pizzerias and a final at Beer Belly Bob's. So for anybody that doesn't know, four pizzerias. We're starting at Lombardo's tomorrow. They're putting up four contestants with their four with their hot sauce, the hottest of the hot of the hot. The winner gets put on a shelf, and then we go to the next spot, which is Pizza Boys, and we're going to film it out of New York Mills, and we're going to go live at 8 o'clock there as well. They're going to put up their four contestants, and then we're going to follow suit with Roma's, and finally, the final pizzeria is going to be Primo's. Whoever the winner of all four of those are going to battle yeah, it out. Yeah, it'll be good. Hey, Eric, can you do me a favor? Every in 15 minutes, give me a heads up in 15 minutes so I could hit every single one of the sponsors. Sure. You got it. And then uh, cause it, we'll wrap dude. it up around 930 and we'll be, I'll be sad. So I it's like different pizzeria each week? So yeah. each pizza week, yep, we're starting at Lombardo's tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Yep. And, uh, and actually at Lombardo's... Uh, for anybody just joining us, I think that uh, from what I hear, we have a husband and a wife battling it out as like an inner thing to see who's. Oh, gonna... they're they're trying to they're competing against each they're, other. They're, they're not only just That's competing awesome, in, in the competition, it? but they're competing against each other. Yep, that so, is awesome. That's how you keep the love going. Yep. So so we're gonna see who prevails at Lombardo's tomorrow, and then we're gonna follow it up at Pizza Boys. Yep. Follow that up with Roma's, and the last stop is gonna be. Uh, uh, Primos. Will Penry needs to get in that. That's he's what a lot of people. No, he needs to get in that. He would win. You think? See, that's he's what a lot, lot of people said. They're all that. like, I'll, I'll win, I'll no. win, I'll win. But it's like, get the guts and shine got, up. No, but he's got a video of a wing challenge. At, um, I hear that he had it. We, well, we can get Brock a shout. He's a buddy of mine. I love but Brock. He did, but he didn't even. Yeah, so at, at the end over zone. Over the end zone. Yeah, they, have, to, they have a pretty serious. Serious and, um, hot Will sauce. shredded really? those. Most people try to peel the chicken off the bone and get it all ready and in the meat. And he literally put the chicken wings in his mouth and just, and just stripped them one by one like a machine. That's awesome. And now, now I didn't even think about yeah, it. That's no, awesome. Yeah. Somebody was saying that he was dipping the bones in the sauce. That's oh, awesome. No, he was. He was, He's he, a maniac. Yes. Well, He's man. that intense? Well, I mean, I know Will Penry is intense. Brian well, Brandt. after we're calling him out, he would eat 30 probably. Well, I, yeah, I Brian don't, think, said I don't that, think he would back down. He Bri would eat 30. Brian Brandt said that they're going to, they have a challenge where they put the biggest scoop of horseradish you could put on a crack. If I had horseradish, I'd try it right now. I like horseradish on my hand. We should change horseradish to wasabi. Oh, you get sauce on the side? Ask Gina about wasabi. What's that? You get sauce on the side? Or like, was that what you guys were saying? Horseradish? Well, no. Like, well, did, I don't know. Brian Brandt said that one of the challenges at Beer Belly Bob's is they put the biggest scoop of horseradish you could put on a cracker and try to eat that. I'll give it a go. Oh, I like horseradish, not though. Not a chance. You Maybe, don't like uh, horseradish? I put it on my hey, ham. Ooh, ooh, me. I'm raising my hand. Jeff, can I talk? I'd puke. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead, dude. Can I 
back out of the hot wing thing and go for the the horseradish? Ask the people. I don't you really, made you made promises to fifty different I, people that shared that video. I don't think you could back out of no, that. Yeah, you gotta That's eat 50. one. How many shares did this video get? How many are you guys sharing? Because you gotta even, make sure I you can't you, even tell. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. So if you could share this video, that would be amazing right now. Uh, Hit the share awesome. button. We got we still got Mikey Doolin on here. We got a little bit a little bit more time left. We do. I we do. Could we do a couple of, I just want to hit those shout outs again. Shout them out. I'm going to shout, shout out shout and then, shout and then we're going to and when we hit uh 9:15 I'm going to hit our sponsors. These but the shout outs I definitely got to hit up my buddy's do. team Larry after team. Man. What? Shout yeah. out. What? Sorry. Oh, but you don't know that song? Shout shout let it all out. All right, whatever. No, scream your hands It's all up day long. Show. It's all day long. <laughs> this is what Jeff your hands up All day show. long. You know what else I do? I do a lot of this. I drive Jeff bananas. B-A-N-N-N-N-S. Yeah, he and, just and I'd be me. like, Joe, talking all this important stuff, and he's just, are you <laughs> listening to me? Do you understand the word? I, <laughs> he's driving down the road. We need to put some more salt. <laughs> we need to put some more saltines in his mouth. Oh, my God. Do the attention. Been, we've been doing pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We have. Dude, if anybody off. saw the promo video the other day, like, dude, I, 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 what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I talk faster. What than are anything. you talking? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What, you, don't so, have, you don't have the problem where you, can you talk are you faster. Going on. Did we ever get a final thought on what you were thinking with the beard? No. The beard. I didn't hear the final you know thought. that road went just kind of like say, this. I say. Yeah, I say you. Off. I say you way. burn it off your face. That's the only That's thing what that I would thought kill it was that. When I first a burn mark, in. right? Yeah. No, I you... thought he definitely had an accident. Yeah, thought he burnt his face. Speaking of burning the face, have you seen this new play in Dubai? They do haircuts with I fire. I saw that. I saw they, that. They what? let they set your hair on fire, and then the guy combs it. Yeah, combs and it. And how he combs, like your head is on fire the entire it's time. Stink. And Eric, he combs that's it. That's got to stink. Let's stop it right they there. Eric. They put the special video. Eric, yeah, what are you doing here? We have a special scene for this. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is your thing. He's sitting here describing the video, and we have the power we love to you. bring Listen, I got excited. Leave me alone. Well, get excited and bring it up on the screen, because then we can capture your pretty face on the extra webcam. And if you can make sure that this isn't unmuted this time? No, it has to. Just leave it all muted. No, this this isn't copyright material. We could unmute this. Unmute oh, this. Oh, just make sure you turn the microphone up. I'm going to help oh, Eric out. All right, we're going to go. I'm, I'm Joe's going to come over there and watch this. Would you get your hair no. burnt cut? Me neither. Would you get your face cut like Joe's? Before you change. No. <laughs> no. I don't know what that was. If I'd rather eat the chicken wings. <laughs> Me too. Because that's got to be a sick bet. <laughs> oh, my God. I would rather eat the chicken wings than cut my beard like that. I'm going to go with he must have been trying to start something. And then... No, no. He was. Um, he did a promotional thing yesterday, which is cool. And um, where were you yesterday? T-Mobile? What's that? Yeah. Joe was, was at T-Mobile yesterday. I was doing a T-Mobile grand opening. They had a barber there who's doing free haircuts and stuff like that. And the dude, I, he caught Eric's hair. Eric looks fancy. Oh, Eric, yeah, stick, no. show everybody your haircut. Oh, okay, Eric, yeah, come on over here. Come Eric on. looks That's good. That's fancy. I'll admit, yeah, Eric he, looks did, good. he did good. He busted out a they, razor Joe's, blade in his hand, dude. Yeah. He was doing that shit by... Yeah. Impressive. Impressive. Eric, Joe, oh, looks nice. Joe looks good. Joe looks good, too. This other is the than same guy that does the hair beard. fire? No, oh. no, no, not oh. the same guy. This guy, I guess, is in Dubai. In I'd India. rather do the hair fire oh, than the beard. Country. Yeah, I would try it. I would try the hair. I'd fire. do the hair fire over Joe's beard all day long. Oh, over the that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, hey, you're gonna just have to stop talking for a minute and why, and just hang tight because uh, everybody to out. bear with us for one second. Why? What's happening? Are we good here, Joe? I think so. We got volume here. We're this. back. I think so. All right, stay there. Keep your pretty little face over in Eric's. Right. Hello, I'm Eric there, spot. Let Eric be there for a minute. Eric is here. There it is. I'm on too. See, I can talk. I'm on the hot seat right now. He thinks he's. You did. Right look, did your beard too, Eric? What's the, I could have looked at it. Yeah, he did the side of the. Yeah, he you, did the you look whole good. Side. He 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 hooked he's it up. Good. No, I didn't. Who does your beard? You do a good job uh, with your own I, beard. I, yeah, I do my own. Good job. Yeah. Look good. 
All right, you got the hair burning stuff, Joe? I got the, I got the hair burning material. All right, we're buddy. about to pull up the hair burning haircuts. Um, enjoy, people. Why is it hard to shave your own beard? I don't think I, I don't norm, think so. I normally do. I am. So are you guys ready? Strokes. I'm gonna hit play now. You get used if we you go. do it enough. Hitting you get play. used to where you gotta All right, go. Hit play, and then we'll go into. Remind me about the mustache after. Okay. Wow. I would be. Wow. Oh, it gets cr it gets crazier. That is insane. Is that real? Can, I, can the, the viewers see that? Is that yes, yeah, the viewers, oh, yeah. The, oh yeah, the viewers can see all I of it. I believe it because it's in Dubai and they're Come all about on, the crazy That's a enough. hell of a fire. That's that would insane. melt your damn hair. Right, right. No, he's got to have some kind of wax. Oh, he puts a bunch some of chemicals. Kind of there's got to be says. something in there. Yeah, we'll oh, see. there's a. He loads he it re up. He, re he relights it. Because it definitely. Oh, I think only just frazzles the end. I don't, it's definitely not cutting like yeah. l lengths and. Why isn't it burning through somebody's hair? Because they put wax or something. They kind put a of bunch of crap there. on it. They put like all this weird chemical because they also said the chemical makes keeps the hair from smelling like smoke as well. It like okay. smells good. All right. Well, they're gonna have to pay us for this. <laughs> I'm just. Kidding. I mean. But I'll when? How did this get started? It, I, like who I mean, said? I don't know. What barber was like? You know, I've. I'm so good. I'm just gonna try to cut hair with. Well, fire no, today. you know that's one. If, if that's in a different country, though, they're very smart. People got talented things. So, you know. Well, really yeah, it's in Dubai, and they're they're kind of ahead of the game at the moment in Dubai. So Dude, back, that is insane. back to talent. We uh, I typically every year around um, November. I do the handlebar mustache. Do you really? Oh, I do a dope one. Yeah, I do a dope one. I have mustache wax behind the counter I over could, there. I don't think I could grow mine that like that. You can. You can, but what you you just grow a regular mustache, but what you do is you'll grab the side of your lip, pull it up, and you get a straight edge, and you shave up. First time I, I ever used a straight edge, I went to get like that spot you between your nose right there, you and I sliced. stalked it right in my face. And there's actually, there's like a heel and a toe of the blade, and you have to realize how to use the blade. So any barber that's shaving you with a real straight blade... They're, they're using, you hold it a certain way, you, you know, it's it's a, actually an art. I could do my own face now, right. but like like your cheekbones, like stuff like that, it's like, eh, I don't know if I really want a monkey with that, you know yeah. what I mean? The guy that cut my hair, he was taught, he said he wrecked people when he was oh. first learning. He was like, I, I did my buddies, yeah. but he's like, I... He's like, I was taking chunks of oh, skin dude, out. What, what are friends for? <laughs> it was the very first 10 seconds I was shaving my face. I was bleeding profusely. I stuck that right in that seam of my nose. And look at this nose. Come on now. I got a can in there. I was like, shoo, shoo. What? I said, oh, my God. I'm I surprised barber, you can't see my teeth. I had a barber one time do, do it up with, like, no cream. And it dude, it was ripping. I was, like, damn near crying. I'm like, yeah, A lot of barber so shops. Cool. I'll be like, listen. Like, if they don't pull out a fresh blade... It's like, don't touch me with that razor. Right. This guy was pulling me out. He was or good. Something. He had a pack of blades right in front of him, and each person, he, he threw the blade away, and he busted out a fresh I, one. I went to one so. barber, and he didn't pull out a new blade. I was like, do not. Oh, I was watching You will him. ruin me for life. You I was, know what I I mean? was making sure that was going to be a fresh. After it touched Joe's face. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you, Joe. They did that with a straight razor? Joe's face? Yeah. Oh, he did the whole, he did the whole thing. Straight razor. Wow. It looks like it was done with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not you know like the traditional barber straight razor yeah he used that but then he also just took the blade right out of it and was holding just the razor blade no so so the, the guy i mean obviously the guy was talented the guy who did your face was talented it's just a silly beard cut is really what it is because the the skill level of oh, joe's face is there is way there yeah the oh, guy yeah. oh the guy had right yeah because like he said if he didn't know what he was doing he was cutting people up right i mean you're using a fresh blade no, let's just say goodbye. done getting picked on yeah just do it <laughs> what time let's just is end it? the show good because i'm telling you right now we just got to say goodbye oh really yeah we're gonna say goodbye so give the shout out to sponsor because I don't know how much longer this is going to stay up. So you might want to hurry up. Okay. So I'm going to do all my sponsors then. Everybody that's helped us out here. I think I feel bad. Did I hurt his feelings? We weren't. We were just talking about the beard. I love him. I think he's sad. I thought, I thought he liked it. I thought that was the point. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's like a masochist. He likes the pain. Oh my gosh! Uh, let's go over the spot. You want to do my sponsors for me? Sure. Do I have? There we the, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's we're, that's we're a gonna, list. We're gonna go over the sponsors. We got uh, CE Construction. Yeah, my buddy Chester, Chester Farrington. Chester Farrington. Good. Yep. I went to school with him. Good he, guy. He's awesome. He does good work. Go call Chester if you need a roof. You need general contracting. Whatever. Call Chester. Who else we got? We got Beer Belly Bob's they Route 51 and Alien. They hook us they up. Anything and everything you need beer wise. Oh heck yeah. We went down there today. What a beautiful place it is. And it is, yeah, it's a night. Nice, I've been drinking inside, delicious beers nice. for weeks now. They've been hooking us up. Like I said, we had uh we got two different kinds we got today. We have Slingshot by uh Schmaltz, uh Schmaltz Brewing Company. Um and then this one I really like. Uh, you didn't the hurt Messiah. My I like the Messiah. I did hurt your feelings, Joe. Don't worry, I'll hug you later. I got the Messiah nut brown, it's delicious. Um, we're the sorry, Messiah, Joe. the Messiah. We're sorry, Joe. The Messiah Nut Brown six ninety nine a six pack. They have a huge island when you walk in there with all the beers on sale. It's awesome, dude. Six ninety nine, six ninety nine six pack, and the Slingshot was five ninety nine for a six pack. It's a buck of beer and it's delicious. That's not bad. Who else we got? Next we got the Clip Joint. Clip Joint. Leah Pendergrass hooking you up at the Clip Joint. She'll make you look good. You know what I mean? You want to look good? Go. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say too soon? <laughs> he definitely <laughs> said too soon. <laughs> you want to fix that shit? You go see Leo Pendergrass. <laughs> I can't guarantee she'll light your hair on fire, but she could probably handle that. Um, what else we got? All right, next we got Deep Vapors. Deep Vapors 308 Mohawk Street. Come on down. We have CBD oil. We have uh, mods. We have starter kits. We have e-juice. We have great deals on everything. We even have a little known thing, Detox. Um, I don't know if you need detox. It's it's a mass detox, but we do sell it. Um, I don't advertise it a lot because it's, I we're not really in business to do that. But I have a lot of people coming in and ask us for it, and we do have it. Um, and we're having a sale on that too. Usually detox is forty bucks. We're selling it for twenty. So if you need well, a bottle, that a good that's deal. a good deal. That is a good so deal. So if you need detox, come hit us up. Who else we got next on the we list? We got Minutemen Gazette. They're next. awesome. You need to advertise anything, you go see my boy Al Durantes. Minutemen Gazette is a beautiful paper. They have beautiful articles. They uh, they'll hook you up with advertising. It gets. Oh, I don't know what the exposure is. I, I, I want to say it's around 10,000 homes it goes to. That's the entire valley. Yes, it, it is. Those? Yeah, yeah. So you get... Frankfurt, Mohawk, Alien, all that. You get hooked up. Yeah. You get hooked up. You want to advertise in a good place? Call the Minutemen Gazette. Next, please. Next, we got Tina Bennett, the Tina. woman that defends the men. Yes, Tina Bennett. Tina Bennett. And uh, don't also forget... Chewy, Snozzle, and Butch, her dogs. Oh, that's right, Chewy, Snozzle. Tina Bennett and Butch. is our newest. Snozzle, she's our newest sponsor, and uh, she is a father's rights attorney, which is so cool. And the uh, dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're a struggling Dude, father, oh, oh. what happened? Are we on the air? Yes. I'm keeping us going, just so you know. Okay, so we're live on the air still. All right, so we'll finish up fast. Okay, Tina Bennett. We got Tina Bennett. Next, we got Remington Federal Credit Union. That's in Ilian. Yep. Next, we have Johnson's Carpet Center in Herkimer Main Street. Yep. Jimmer Adams. Next, we got Primo's Pizzeria, 2nd Street, Ilian. Go that's see the not me. Toys. That's not me. Who? Who's not you? What? Are you in the show? Are you involved here? What are All we right, doing well, over here? Here's the problem. What's the problem? So, if our viewers are wondering what what is happening our wonderful cable provider i can't hear nothing in the headphones spectrum. you can't spectrum to the spectrum rescue. if you guys need wonderful cable you call up our friends at spectrum business class uh, absolutely completely ridiculous i am hardwired in and, and if in, in nerdy terms i'm not on wi-fi okay we're hard I, so basically what's happening is is the main feed froze but our cameras are still rolling. Oh, so there's a lot like I, I, people are texting me, and I just rather just address it that I can't text everyone back. But what's basically happening is oh, is like, I switch back over, 
Okay. And we're still right. stuck right there. I see nothing new coming on the screen. But they can and hear I'm us? I'm scared that if I don't hit end broadcast, we're going to lose the entire video. So they're still hearing us. They, I'm actually listening in, plugged into my phone on the delay. So when I'm talking to you, yeah. it's I'm talking on a talking delay. Talking to the so mic. I'm basically watching and listening as they are. So if this my feed goes down, we go down. then you go down. Well, let's just finish it. So, so then, right. well, so then i got to figure out well, how to make sure everybody's Primo's there. Was our last sponsor. Primo was our last sponsor. Outs. We got Team Larry Entertainment. Yep. We got the Disruption Network. They're awesome. And Both are awesome. Lonesome Dove. Lonesome Dove to, uh, Saturday night at uh, the Moves. Go see them. And see I'm my buddy Todd say Lozo. A quick hello to my cousin Justin Samsel. Thanks for what? Thanks for watching. You want to say hi to anybody? Uh, no, just thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for the sponsors. Michael Doolin. I had David Doolin. As Pizza always, I'm Jeff Miller. I have Eric E. Money Watkins sitting with me, and thankfully holding the the. I mean, is 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 terrible as we are to each other he's the rock he is, is, the he rock. is the rock joe natarelli dj joe distortion the man holding it together man, thank you so joe welcome. tell everybody that you love him joseph. acknowledge me joseph joseph say acknowledge it say i love you he can't hear well joseph he does loves everybody. trust me joe loves you guys as much <laughs> as i do um we had a great night we'll see you guys next week we have uh we have king mike mike falvo and mike falvo i should say um, from Dynasty Pro Wrestling, so they'll be here next week. And uh, with the Hot Wing Challenge tomorrow at Lombardo's, 8 o'clock. Be there, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Thanks again. All right, Peace. Joe, you could cut it. Dynasty Wrestling. Joe, you listening. could cut it. He, Joe's Just got headphones on, but he can't it. hear me. You could cut it. We're good. Hey, we did. Hey. And cut. And cut. I got to talk now, so this is where – watch. I'm going to bring me, bring me back in just so I'm on camera. Holy Goodbye. shit. Well, there I am. Goodbye, Facebook world. Oh, We're, my God. We'll be, we'll be back. We'll, oh, my God, really? Eric? Oh, my God. We will, uh, we will see you tomorrow at Lombardo's, 8 o'clock. I know they have better internet there, so we'll be good. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks Eric. again, Spectrum. Thanks again, Spectrum. Bye. <laughs>